I'm so sorry. If I, I feel like I should go into these streams knowing that like anytime I have to make an on the fly decision, I'm just gonna disappoint everybody like viciously for the next like, I don't know, 20 minutes. Like 20 minutes straight, I'm just gonna be like fumbling around like, oh, uh, me, maybe, uh, maybe this one will work. And everybody in chat's gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? Three hours of relaxing and beautiful Animal Crossing music. This is what we needed. Oh my god, it's right here. Animal Crossing is literally the answer. Animal Crossing is God's favorite answer. You can quote me on that one. Um, okay. Can y'all hear it okay? Yes, 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 okay. Sounds good to me. I miss New Leaf. Yeah, oh my god, those are good. Those are good days. I didn't play like hundreds of hours of New Leaf, but I did. It was like. <laughs> the time in which I got New Leaf was like. Very, very shitty time in my life. New Leaf was like the one fucking like bright spot in those days. We're not gonna get into all that. We have other ways to dive into my psyche and potential trauma here live. So, um, I have... <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Um, I have a bunch of personality quizzes opened up. Um, most of these, uh, recommended to me specifically, uh, by users on Twitter and my subscriber-exclusive Discord server. Um, exclamation point Discord and chat if you want more information on how to be a part of that. Um... So, I felt like it would be only fitting if we started with something just, like, really broad. And then we'll kind of hit up some, like, different flavors as we go on. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do here is the, the 16 personalities, the classic, like, Myers-Briggs, whatever the fuck. Um, I think I've done one of these before. <laughs> Are you gay quiz? <laughs> I don't need a quiz for that shit. Um, but, um, I think I did one of these, a, like, a, many years ago. Many years, did you hear that? Many years ago I did one of these. Um, but, I haven't in a while, and I feel like my general, like, sense of self has kind of changed. I don't feel like, I mean, I, I've definitely changed, but I don't feel like, Necessarily the core of my personality has changed much, but I do feel like the way I look at myself has changed a lot in certain ways So it could this could be a case where I answer this differently and thus get a different answer because like maybe initially I was Second-guessing a lot of stuff, but who's who's to say so we'll take the test here. Let's start Can we backseat? <laughs> God damn it Penny, you don't fucking know the tech Oh my god, listen, if you want to get PB on this one, the fastest route is INFP, okay? You gotta fucking know the tech. There's like a million skips in, IF, in IF, INFP route. Yes, some people like to do the INTJ% percent category, but it's a fucking niche category. If you're going for any percent, INFP. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, completed test, blah, blah, blah. Plus, uh, this is your personality. <laughs> All right, you regularly make new friends. <laughs> really starting with a doozy here. Um, This is <laughs> also very fitting music for what I'm about to talk about. I'm not good at talking to people or like staying in contact with even the friends that I have. Like, th like, I'm not trying to be sad here. This is, like, legitimately just something I know about myself at this point. Um, I know a ton of people. Like, if, if, if we're, like, if I, if you asked me how many friends I have, I would say, like, fucking so many friends. I have so many friends. How many of them do I talk to on a regular basis? Who knows? How many, like, how many do I regularly make? I really don't know. 
Cause like I'll join like friend discord servers with like new people and I'll technically be in the same space as them and we'll have like mutual friends and stuff. But like, I'm so bad <laughs> at like interacting with people, especially in like, like discord spaces. I used to not be this way. I used to be so good at sticking around friend groups and stuff. I don't know. No, I, <laughs> I know what happened. I'm not even gonna fucking lie about that. And not, not that I was intentionally trying to lie. I just thought like, wait, no, I actually do very much know why I'm not good at that anymore. Um, do I regularly make new friends? Slightly agree. I do meet a lot of people. And a lot of people I do consider my friends regardless of how good I am at keeping up with them. And in terms of like, maybe not recently, but in terms of like over the course of the last like, God, like five or six years or so, I have met so many ridiculously kind and talented and wonderful people. I think I have made, I, I have met more people that I would consider friends in the past like six years than I, I, I've met like in any of the years total beforehand so um sneezy makes it seem like it's a scene in the frame to be sad like a movie it's not intentional i promise uh you spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest i am very very good at late night um wikipedia binging <laughs> like i i will i'll i'll think of like a movie and i'm like Oh man, how did they like think of the idea for that movie? Thank you for the bits. Like, how do they think of the idea for that movie? And I'll look it up and I'll go to like the production page and I'll see like a bunch of other information about like some other project they were working on. I'm like, oh, what the fuck's going on with this one? And so like, I'll just, so I guess like, yeah, I, I do I spend a lot of my free time exploring various random topics that pique my interest. Nowadays, I don't spend a lot of my free time exploring topics, but I do still do it. I'm still pretty good at like following through on things. Like I mean, like recently, I've I recently just started going on another uh, Defunct Land binge. I I recently just started once again like like something about Defunct Land's whole thing like piqued my interest again recently, and I've started like binging through his videos, which I haven't done in like like a couple of years now. So, um, yeah, I would say probably maybe not a lot of my time. Maybe another slightly agree. I'm not trying to be non-committal. I just like, I, I just genuinely, I, I think that's the answer. Seeing other people cry e can easily make you feel like you wanna fucking, oh my God, agree. I, oh my God. I, I can think of like, oh my God. F like four movies, shows, games, whatever, whatever you want off the top, literally four off the top of my head right now where the, where seeing a character in that piece of art cry made me start like sobbing here here they are here are the four that i thought of literally within the last like five seconds of like thinking of this question last was part two coco inside out steven universe future all four of those came to my mind instantly i was like fuck like i like they just they make me sob um yeah so Absolutely, absolutely, and that's and that's very like media focused. In real life, tends to happen too. <laughs> that way, I just I I try I try not to. <laughs> I don't I don't distance myself from emotional people, but generally, you hope that like people aren't like sobbing around you all the time. <laughs> like you know, like if if you're if people are constantly sobbing around you, something else is maybe like out of whack. Not necessarily because of you. It's just like, it's not a situation you want to be with. So I'm, I feel like I'm fortunate to not have people around me crying all the time. But when they do, yeah, they get me. I just, I mostly see people like genuinely crying in like media and stuff. Um, just mo most often is, is where I see that just because it's controlled. You often make a backup plan for backup. Oh, fuck. Disagree. I'm not gonna elaborate, that's disastrous. Usually stay calm, even under a lot of pressure. <laughs> disagree. Um, maybe slightly disagree. I, no, 
somewhat dis mostly disagree. I I don't stay calm. I can sometimes keep my external composure. I don't know how well I would do with that now, actually. My whole like chemicals are changing right now. So I don't I <laughs> I could literally do this test like three years down the line and probably get like completely different answers here. Um as I've known myself up into this point, I can, I'm sometimes pretty good at like externally, you know, being proactive, but I'm not calm. Calm and proactive are different things entirely in my eyes. Um, Danny Phantom, your molecules are all over your age, yeah. <laughs> uh, at social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. At social events, yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah, oh my god, yeah, I don't even fucking, yeah, I don't even know why I'm, like, being, like, skeptical about that, I just think, like, of, like, Dragon Con, like, like, I, I like to think of, like, this hypothetical, like, if I go to, like, a party or something, like, this hypothetical brain party where I'm, like, oh, yeah, no, I could, I could interact with new people, but then, like, I think about the situation in, in, the situations in which I have actually gone out for things, like, in, like, Dragon Con, or whatever, and I'm like, oh no, I was absolutely, like, I am one of the most, like, physically, <laughs> socially unintrusive people. <laughs> like, I, um, of course, you know, there are external factors that made those situations as, like, kind of inward-focused as they were, but, um, at least in my experience, um, I don't actively seek out new people all the time. I, well, I don't actually seek out new people in like, s like physical social situations, like events. You panels at Dragon Con, do you just party? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> um, I went with my friends uh, for a couple years in a row, but I it was never like a. I didn't I didn't do a whole lot yet, but um, second year was really fun. I did cosplay the second year. I cosplayed as a as a pirate Rapunzel. Um. You could you prefer to completely finish. Disagree. You are very sentimental. Very sentimental? I am sentimental. Very sentimental? I'm getting so hung up on, like, the specific qualifiers here. Um, what is the exact definition of sentimental? Because I feel like I, I have an idea of what it means, like, socially, but I've never... Act What's the... What are the ins and outs of the two? <laughs> this is how I do personality quizzes, and I can already tell this is going to be a disaster of a stream. <laughs> They're asking me a very simple question, like, are you sentimental? And I literally just went to another tab. What is the exact definition of sentimental? <laughs> Dictionary. Um, <laughs> of or prompted by feelings of tenderness, sadness, or nostalgia. Oh, I'm fucking extremely sentimental. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. I like to. Do I always? <laughs> I. This question needs to be rephrased. This question needs to be rephrased immediately. Because, yes, I like to use them. <laughs> Liking, like, enjoying the process of using them, though, is a completely different thing of always actually doing it. <laughs> I do like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. I'm very bad at, at actually doing it, though, actively. And I feel like this question is asking more towards the latter. So, somewhat disagree. Even though I do, I enjoy it a ton. I make lists all the time but not about important shit. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your own. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you feel comfortable just walking up to someone and... <laughs> oh boy, that's a little, yeah. Woo, you just get hot in here? Who turned up, who turned off the AC? You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. No. No, not really. You are not too interested in discussing various interpretations. Of no, fucking disagree. 
I'm all about that shit. I'm all about the reasonable, fair discourse, BB. I just did something interesting with my arms. One day I'll have a face cam. You're more inclined to follow your head than your heart. <laughs> oh my god, I could get into some shit that justifies this answer, but strongly disagree. That's, this is... My, the justification behind my answer to this one is not stream appropriate. That is like, that's like therapist appropriate only. You usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given time, any given moment, instead of planning a particular daily routine. I, I do prefer it, yes, absolutely. Again, a little bit loaded. But no, I, I tend to do that anyway, though. Analysis! Analysis! <laughs> anal <laughs> you really, <laughs> you really worry about whether you make it. No, disagree. I fucking worry all the time. I had like a whole vent I did earlier today about like, oh my god, do people like actually like me? You enjoy participating in group activities. Yes, I do. I don't. Again, it's one of those things where it's like, I feel like. They need to start getting really specific with these wordings. I do enjoy it. But like, I feel like the way they're asking this implies that they want me to also tell them if I do it a lot at the same time. Nowadays, I don't do a lot of stuff in groups. Not like a lot of stuff. Most of the stuff I do at the moment is like generally like, like it's just not specific enough. So I feel like that's gonna go to a slightly agree. I think, in, I think enjoy here is different than like than the previous one. I don't know. I disagree. I, I think that this very specifically implies intention being matched with like behavior and habits, right? Like I, I think that this is a very it I feel like that's loaded with um that sort of conflation. And that's not always the case. <laughs> You're overthinking this. I could be. But also, hey, if that's if that's what I'm doing, that's just me. That's just the honesty of this stream. I'm not gonna apologize for it. That's the whole point. You you came you came into the stream knowing this is gonna be a fucking an examination of Penny Parker and the truth of her character. This is who I am. You can't take that away from me. You like books and movies. <laughs> really antagonistic about that. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. Yeah. Absolutely. Not exclusively. Again, like, this is not the only thing I like, but I do like it. Your happiness comes more... <laughs> this is who I am. <laughs> <laughs> your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. Happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. I, this is like one of those things where it's like, this like right down the like I this is both baby. I have I have like a thoroughly. I have like a I I I don't I wouldn't say either one I enjoy more than the other. It's like perfectly balanced down the middle. Whatever I'm fucking up to, like I, like I'm I'm down for it. Both yeah, both are very important. You need to be satisfied in your own work, but also you can't always be focused on your own shit. I think collaboration is very fucking satisfying and I love helping people. It's not a case where I would ever, I mean, I, I like truly, if we're talking like tendency, I do, just based on how I was raised, I tend to prioritize the needs of others. Or at least I, 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 I think I have that, like, tendency. But also, I, this isn't talking about needs. This is accomplishments. So I, right down the middle. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with that. I feel good about that. You are interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. Yeah, I say some, mostly agree. Thanos taking... <laughs> 
<laughs> he has to be the most fucking boring guy in the world. An answer honestly, just be like balance, 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 balance. You are prone to worrying that things will take a. You avoid leadership roles in group settings. Avoid? No. No? I'm the showrunner of Snapcube's real time fandom. No. <laughs> what am I doing? You're definitely not an artistic type of person. No, you're great. I've never done anything creative. Um, wait. No, this is worded so fucking weirdly. You are definitely not an artistic type of person. Disagree? Why not just ask if you are an artistic person? What? Why the fucking, like, bait-and-switch with the wording here? That's so unnecessary. <laughs> why, are they, why are they writing questions like this? Someone needs to, like... Apparently this one's really popular. They were boasting, like, over, like, 400 million tests taken. Someone's gotta step up. See, you need, fill you need. Better fucking test questions, please. I think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings. That is so, that is so much of an oversimplified idea that like, if if you told me to apply this to some, like certain people, I would say fucking absolutely. Some people could like take a chill pill, but like there are others where I'm like, no fucking please. Please, for the love of God, have any sort of, like, feelings or empathy whatsoever. Again, right down the middle. I, like, I'm not, I don't want to be a centrist. I just think this is such an oversimplified rendition of this question. I think the world would be a better place if people rely more on rationality and less on, less on their feelings. Now... The phrasing of on their own feelings is very key here. If this said like, you think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on empathy, I would say disagree, at least somewhat disagree, right? Like anywhere within these three, if this was replaced with like empathy, right? Like, like empathy or sympathy towards others, right? But like in terms of like, their own feelings about shit, just like like impulses and stuff. Like I don't know. I could I again I could like I could apply a different answer to a bunch of different people and like feel perfectly fine with all of it. I don't think there's one universal thing that I believe in in regards to this. I just kind of take it situation by situation. <laughs> Many record known centrist. Yeah. I've never ever gotten in a hot water about a particularly aligned belief I had before. Um, you prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you enjoy watching people argue. No, <laughs> who fucking does? What? Like real arguing? Like genuinely, like, like not like staged or, I mean, I guess like, Sadists, maybe? I don't know. I don't know who would. I genuinely don't know. This is not me being like judgment. I just genuinely don't know who would fall into this camp. I don't get this question. Yes, bicker for me, yeah. Talking about a debate. But again, it would say debate, right? Like this, this there's no way this question, there's no way this test is badly written enough to use those two words as synonyms. I, I think they truly mean argue here, and I'm going to stick with strongly disagree. Um, you tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Holy Toledo. Wow. I've been subscribed for one whole year. You're hilarious, positive, and wonderful streams and vibes you provided through these tough times really Thank got you. me by. Thank you, Penny. Here's to another year. Raymond. P.S. This- Oh no! That was a funny joke that just got cut off. They said, P.S. This is my actual voice. Thank you so much, Glass Turf, for the 
very generous $12 donation. Hey, listen, everybody. If you want to donate to Penny Snapkey Bunstream, you can do exclamation point donate command and chat at any point. I love drawing attention to myself. Uh, your mood can change very quickly. Um... That was a joke, by the way. I was doing a, like, a joke in regards to this question just then. I wasn't just shilling so overtly all of a sudden. Uh, your mood can change very quickly. Not, I mean, not really. It can. Like if, like if something horrible ha Yeah, my mood has changed very quickly in the past, but it's not a tendency of mine to have like sudden mood shifts. Like it can, yes, it can change very quickly. Again, with the, this, oh my God, this test is, this is a bad test. Am I the only one who feels, this is like a very poorly written quiz. Everything is like so fucking vague and weird. Tendency is key for these. Yeah, no, I'm getting that sense. I just wish that it wasn't written in a way where I have to assume that. Fans of Myers Briggs don't like this one. Yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah, this test is really poorly written. Um, use patience with people who are not as efficient as you. No, not really. I lose patience with people who are dicks. <laughs> like, I have I have plenty of patience for uh unefficiency or like unideal performance or whatever like i'm i'm a i think i'm a relatively patient person i just i i don't put up with bullshit if i can help it you often end up doing things at the last possible moment yeah 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 i i kid you not i edited I wanna say like 70 to 80% of the Sonic 06 dub in a single night. <laughs> and it was like, I think a couple weeks after it came out or before it came out, if not like a week. Yeah, I did that all the time. Um, you've always been fascinated Penny how I was a very unhealthy person prone to forcing myself into situations of horrible editing crunch. Um, and I still have tendencies of doing that now and again, but I'm better about it nowadays. I'm much better about it. Also, yeah, ADHD game, possibly. Well, we'll investigate a little bit further later this stream. Stay tuned. You've always been fascinated by the question of what if anything happens after- Fascinated? Hmm. <laughs> Existentially horrified and possibly traumatized, yeah. Fascinated? Disagree. Usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. Usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. I fucking love people so much. I love my friends. They're all amazing and I love them so much and I want only nice things for them and hanging out with my friends is like one of the best fucking feelings in the world and I have to say this as I click slightly disagree. I really like being by myself. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets... I'm tr Hold on. Uh, my brain just like... I don't understand this question. And I, I think my brain just broke like halfway through reading it. And like it's physically unable... Like I physically can't understand this. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. Disagree. You find it easy to emba- it's just- it's- are- are you a- are you a thinker's thinker? Do you like using your brain to th imagine? <laughs> Y'all see? Discord's new slogan is imagine a place. <laughs> like... Thanks bud, I will. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, what now? You find it easy to empathize. You find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different from yours. I, I certainly do try. Yes, mostly agree. 
obviously there's only so much you can do in terms of like understanding um it's not no it's not always easy to empathize with or relate to people who you don't have shared experiences with but it's e it it's easy for me to try which i think again is kind of where this question more lies like is it something you find yourself at least making an effort to do easily um i find it easy to try i find it easy to want to um Imagine there's no Discord. It's easy if you try. <laughs> Usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. I hate to say it, but yeah, absolutely. Not because I want to. Truly not because I want to. It's just a bad habit. Probably also ADHD. You rarely sick and guess the choices you have made. Strongly disagree. Actually, <laughs> do you get it? That was a joke. <laughs> After a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. Fucking disagree. If the week was already long or exhausting. I got a gold star, thank you. You enjoy going to art museums. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. Please explain in excruciating detail. Okay. Well, I don't know, man. You've been seeming sus lately. It's almost like we have an imposter among us. I saw that you wanted- Don't lie to me, Walt! You sussy baka! <laughs> you enjoy going to art museums, yes. <laughs> Walt. I don't know. <laughs> Been acting a little sus lately. <laughs> it seems like we might have an imposter among us. <laughs> well, don't lie to me. <laughs> I, I really, I really, really, really want to put fucking uh, Dean Norris saying, seems like we have an imposter among us on my soundboard. Oh, I want it so badly. Some make sure I don't forget that, please. Like just whenever it may be. Um okay. Oh man, this is so funny. I often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Disagree mostly. I mean it's just, you know, little little wiggle room there. You like to have a to-do list for each day. I like to, but I don't tend to. Strongly disagree. I'm gonna go with tendency here. This one's taking a long time. How much of this is there? You rarely feel insecure. <laughs> disagree. You avoid making phone calls. Strongly agree. It took me, I kid you not, it took me like, it has taken me like five months to fucking like call a psychiatrist and be like, hey, I think I might have ADHD. I don't know why I turned into Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Spent a lot of time trying to. <laughs> my vibes are. I don't know why. I don't know what my vibes are tonight. Mickelis Mouse. <laughs> you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own. Yeah, I could I could say that. Yeah, I mean, you know, being in sort of the, the online sphere that I am, you know, you kind of have to interact with a lot of different ideas that you might not be used to um, or, like, fully understanding of, so... As a result, since I am someone who often tries to follow up with, like, 
becoming educated or or at least like empathetic like yeah absolutely i do often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from my own oh we're 70 percent done that's not too bad in your social circle you often you are often the one who contacts your friends and if your plans are interrupted your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible I feel that way about my conversations. My plans are interrupted. What kind of plans are we talking about? Because if we're talking about like appointments, there is nothing more blissful than the release of canceled plans. But if we're like, if it's something I'm like excited about, like, oh, we're gonna go to fucking Disney World this week. Like, if something gets in the way of that, I'm gonna be, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be rearing to. Get to Disney World again. <laughs> um, down the middle. I don't really... I don't get this one fully. <laughs> that'll just, uh... That'll just be a little bit of a... You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Disagree. Did it? I just want to know, did it do the reverb for that? It didn't? Fuck! What? Oh. I think I know why. Hold on. Woo! Woo! That just scared me. I think it was supposed to sound like this. How about that? Did that work? <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, I fell in the well. Your emotions control you more than you control them. I don't, I don't control my emotions. I cope with my emotions and I like respond to them in the, in the best way I can. I control my fucking actions, not my emotions. Nobody controls their emotions. You control what you do after you have the emotions. Sometimes that can masquerade as emotional control, but really, you're just responding and correcting an emotion that you initially experienced against your control. This is a fucking stupid question. Yes, my emotions control me more than I control them because I don't fucking control them at all. Are you asking if I am in, like inherently disastrous and impulsive and like always react purely on gut feeling? No. I think that's what they want to ask me, so no, I'll do like a mostly disagree. If I, if, you know, I, I would like to, though, read a question and answer it as it's written at some point. Because <laughs> if I'm answering this as it's written, then fucking absolutely. Um. CBT therapist would like to have a word with <laughs> is that is that in response to what I said or, or what the question said because I I'll admit like I'm not the most like educated on on psychology but like as I understand it why why fucking focus on like I mean like emotions are emotions they're like a very inherent human impulsive thing um I think they might talk about the test. I'd hope so. I hope I'm not like spreading like weird, harmful information. I gen I say that with the best intentions, you know. Like like. Hmm. You take great care not to make people look bad, even when it is completely their fault. Yeah, absolutely. Personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than. Than organizing consistent. Wait, what? 
Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organizing. Oh yeah, no, absolutely, full, full on, one hundred percent. Yeah, I don't, I don't personally know the ins and outs of cognitive behavioral therapy. Like, personally, if we're talking about my personal philosophy, no, I don't think emotions are something you can innately like control. I think that, again, even if you are practicing what you might call emotional control, it is more about mitigating the aftermath of an emotion rather than choosing to feel certain things, right? Like, like I, I think that the idea of controlling your emotions implies autonomy over what you feel which I don't think is fully possible, personally. Not in my experience, at least. And again, I'm not the most educated or the most experienced. And I, again, I don't mean to spread any harmful ideas. But I, I think it more comes down to how you respond to that. Even if, again, that response is still internal and in, in mental, but it's still a response to something you felt Humanly, innately. Um, anyway, that's a whole nother conversation. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. I mean, not really. I mean, I get anxious about interpersonal shit and like the way people see me, but it's not an immediate like light switch like that. Um, mostly disagree. I'm not saying it's never happened. Um, I've definitely been in some some toxic situations that really like fucking wore down on my self-esteem and, and all that, but um, in general, no, I'm not always just like waiting for the other shoe to drop in that regard. Um, you would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. <laughs> Boy, do I have news for this test. But do I love it? <laughs> this is essentially right now just asking me, do you like what you do right now? Do you enjoy your job, Penny Parker? To that I say, mostly. You believe that pondering abstract philosophical qu this is stupid. No, I don't believe that. You feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmospheres than quiet, intimate places. No. Uh, I mean, yeah, kinda. I love cities. I like going to cities. I moved to a more active place. I moved from the Florida Panhandle to Atlanta. So like, I actively made the decision to move to somewhere like more, more active and yeah, bustling is an interesting world. I'm, I'm more of a city girl, yeah. I'm more of a city slicker. Um, if we're just talking about like off time, I mean, I like being in quiet, intimate places, but again, it's just a really vague question. Somewhat agree, I guess. You know what? First glance at someone is, no, fucking strongly disagree. Not generally, at least. Why the, f like, yeah, if someone's like kicking tables over, I can probably surmise that like, there may be a little angry about something. Like, if they're just sitting there, eating their pot pie, like, no. They could be eating their pot pie in seething, apocalypse-rendering rage. I wouldn't know. You often feel overwhelmed. <laughs> I, yes, I often eat my pot pies in seething apocalypse rendering rage. Yes, strongly agree. You complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. Mostly disagree. Oh, I'm a, I'm a corners cutter. Oh, I'm a corners cutter like crazy. But I like to cut the smart ones, you know? The ones that... If they're there, you might actually even like like if they're gone because they're like they'll probably cut you, you know, if they're still there at least. 
very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. By whom? <laughs> controversial by whom? It's again, I feel like this is very... The government. Oh, man. Absolutely. <laughs> what? Yeah, what is this question? Are they asking me if I'm not like other girls? Like, this... Oh, my God. This, this quiz is so fucking, like... Are you not like other girls is, is essentially like what this quiz is like the, this is the this this quiz is the one that like the people who inform like most of their social interactions with the Myers-Briggs tests like take this is like how they frame this kind of thing um I don't fucking know right down the middle I don't give a shit <laughs> I don't give a shit Pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. Yes, if it's a need. Yeah, absolutely. If someone needed something more than me, I would probably say, like, yeah, go for it. Go for it, buckaroo. Live your dreams. But, like, how do you... Like, if we're talking about, like, oper like fucking business opportunities or whatever, like... How do you quantify what somebody needs in that regard? That's a whole other thing. You struggle with... You feel confident that things will work out for you. Ooh. It's a very crystal ball question. You're asking me to assume a lot of things. You feel confident that things will work out for you. Oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This one's gonna take me three hours to answer. I don't know. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> like, it's like fucking, what are you talking about? Yeah, like in a cosmic sense, in a fucking business, like, is it just supposed to be so viciously vague? I think they're asking for generally more optimistic. Then, like, why not ask me that? I okay. I guess I can maybe see why they wouldn't ask me that in this in this question, though. Given like, I feel like a lot of people want to say that they're optimistic, right? Like, if someone asks, like, "Are you optimistic?" You probably say, "Oh yeah, no, yeah, I'm pretty optimistic. Why not?" And then, but like, if someone phrases it like this, yeah, this is what stumps you. Like, when it gets personal, like, do you feel confident things will work out for you? Ah! Okay. I'm just gonna move on. I'm just not gonna. I'm not, I'm not even gonna. Personality type is mediator. Well, I never could go through with being a vegetarian, so I guess I am a pretty big mediator. <laughs> I know VT. Let's see. Um, mine. This trait determines how we interact with our environment. 66% more introverted. 79% intuitive. Okay. 78% feeling. That 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 tracks. Cool. Whoa. What the fuck is going on here? I'm like a cartoon character with this one. Put me on fucking Looney Tunes with this one. Turbulent. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch called me turbulent. <laughs> what the fuck? Is, what am I supposed to take from that? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's right. You can't. I would I went off Mr. Bones wild ride. All right. Let's start reading. No. Fuck off. Angry Mexican, thank you so much for the for the bits. Biggest indicator that you're an INFP was that you took this test in the first place. I mean, it was recommended to me. Um 
Although they may seem quiet or unassuming, mediators have vibrant, passionate inner lives. Oh, yeah. Is this one of those things, though, where it's going to be like, like it's specifically kind of like written vaguely to where regardless of who gets it, they're like, I can see that. Creative and imaginative, they happily lose themselves in daydreams, inventing all sorts of stories and conversations in their minds. Yeah, who doesn't? Personalities are known for their sensitivity. Mediators can have a profound emotional response to music, art, nature, and the people around them. We all can. This one does feel a little bit more in tune with this specific category, I guess. Not everybody has, like, emotional responses to all this stuff. Um, idealistic and empathetic. Deep, soulful relationships they call, feel called to help others. This personality type makes up for a small portion of the population. Does it? Does it? Mediators may sometimes feel lonely or invisible. Adrift. In a, sorry, this is unfitting. Oh, hold on. Mediators long for deep, soulful relationships, and they feel called to help others. Because this personality type makes up such a small portion of the population, mediators sometimes feel lonely or invisible. Adrift in a world that doesn't seem to appreciate the traits that make them unique. And all that glitters is gold! Only shooting stars break the mold! <laughs> I don't fucking care. I don't care. Let's get out of here. I'm done with this one. <laughs> hey, now you are an all star. Um. Okay, let's move on. Uh, someone wanted me to find out what kind of D and D character I would be. Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh yikes! 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 Mm, this is a lot. This is a lot of them. This is a big one. I don't know if I'm going to do this one right away, actually. It's less personal, easier. Maybe. I kind of want to, I want to do a shorter one right off the bat. Can I zoom in? I'll, yeah, I'll, when I, when I cover this one, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, I'll, I'll zoom in, I mean. Uh, just remind me when I get to it, because I don't think I'm going to do this right away. I'm going to move this to, oop. Oh, I'm, I really hope I didn't, oh shit. <laughs> Try not to spoil things, I'm sorry. Uh, let's move on to what kind of bread am I? We'll zoom in on this one. <laughs> yeah, bread time, okay. What kind of bread are you? Nine questions, simple. Bread is best used for sandwiches for sopping, sopping up sauce. Don't ever say that again. As a bowl for soup. For toast, always toast. I mean, for sandwiches, I'd say. Out of, out of these options. If you're asking me what I, like, in terms of all food, what is bread best used for? Bread. I genuinely feel this way. There is nothing better than a just a baguette. Just a, just give me a fucking baguette and I'll rip into that shit with the ferocity of all the ancestors that gave me the instinct to enjoy it as much as I do, you know? But out of these, yeah, for sandwiches, I'd say. I've never had like a bread bowl soup. I've, <laughs> I've been to Panera, Panera. <laughs> oh shit, hello, Mr. Clown, Mr. Clown Rogers. How would you say that in a funny way? I don't know. Hi, Mr. Rogers. How's it going? Don't forget the hyphen between spider and man. I certainly won't. Hi there, Penny Parker. You'll never be able to beat all of my wacky quizzes. <laughs> and you'll never escape my series of doors Hello that requires <laughs> you to play an internet quiz to open each door. Wah ha ha ha. Sign the quiz <laughs> your clown. Here, I'll, um... I'll give you a taste of kind of what I assume the character you're going for was. Hi there, Penny Parker! You'll never be able to beat all of my 
tricky quizzes, and you'll never escape my series of doors that require you to play an internet quiz to open each door. <laughs> Signed, the Quizder Clown. Thank you so much for the donation. Never had a bread bowl from Banera, so we'll do sandwich. Pick a texture cream of bread? They're just in general, I assume. Slippery. <laughs> Ew. Ew. What? <laughs> Ew. Creamy, crunchy, slippery, or chewy. <laughs> what? Crunchy. Crunchy. I get crunchy. If you had to choose between having... I don't know what I just did, I'm sorry. If you had to choose between having a bread and cheese course or a dessert course, which one would you pick? Bread and cheese. What was I just saying? Which of these things are you most likely to put on a peanut butter sandwich? None. 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 P -p 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 fucking pickles?! Who the fuck is doing this?! Ban them! Who the fuck is doing this? Ban them. <laughs> yeah, whether, where's jelly? Yeah. <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? Well, I feel like, I feel like jelly is the obvious one. Jelly is, if you put jelly there, everyone would click it, right? Like. <laughs> Banana. Bananas. Oh, oh, I thought this said peanut butter and jelly. So, okay, let me, let me re, let me retread this. Which of these things are you most likely to put on a peanut butter sandwich? Bananas? Yes. Next question. What kind of bread are you? I don't know why I'm reading the title. What's your favorite cuisine? Cuisine. French, Asian, or Indian, Italian, or Greek, Middle Eastern, or African, full-on American comfort food. Um... I don't really have one. I had Italian for dinner tonight, so I'll go with that. Ever eat one of those scary sandwiches out of a vending machine? Oh, yeah. Oh, I fucking love these things. I'll fuck these things up. Absolutely. They're horrifying. But I, I love them. I eat them all the time. Try and stop me. You can't. I have a sword. If you were, you were told to avoid carbs, you would. Say I'd avoid carbs and then cheat my ass off. I wouldn't burst into tears. If I was told to, like, like medically, like if it, like if someone, like my doctor was like, you will fucking die if you don't stop with that carb sh bullshit you're on right now. Like, yeah, I would do it. I was told to. I mean, yeah, technically, I'm kind of already recommended to avoid carbs as much, but, like, you know, if, like, my doctor was like, you gotta stop, bitch, I'd be like, okay. We're thinking the bread. I'm not overthinking the bread quiz. This is how I think about things. This is, this is not overthinking for me. This is thinking. <laughs> this is my brain. I've got to, I gotta say this again. This is who I am. Shadow the Hedgehog got it right all along. This is me. This is this is how I work. This is not overthinking. This is my fucking process. Um. Okay, we know when it comes to uses for flour that making bread is number one on the list. But what's number two? What? I'm sorry. Can you say that again with less garbage, please? We know when it comes to uses for flour that making bread is number one on the list. What's number two? I don't care. Making paper mache. Pasta. 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 What co pasta? <laughs> what comes to mind when you smell bread baking? Mercy, I must find it now. This this is quirky. This is really... This person's probably not like other girls. What comes to mind when you smell bread baking? How I should bake more bread? How hungry I am at that very moment? Or is it I must... I guess I 
home and I don't fucking none of these. I guess this one. I yeah, when I'm like, oh, that's bread. I could use some bread right now. Sure. What kind of bread am I? Shut the fuck up. Apparently two genders. <laughs> Backwards 1927s website. Shut up! We're fucking done. We're fucking done. We'll never know. We'll never know what bread I am. We'll never know what bread I am. Let's find out what specific fictional ghost I am. Um... Video games or comic books? Video games. <laughs> Do you say um or uh? I don't know, chat. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> you tell me. Genuinely curious. Do I say uh a lot? I remember more ums. I'm 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 not asking you to pick. I'm asking like j like those who watch my streams probably know this better than anybody. You're definitely more of an um but you do both. I'm more of a, both like a normal wait, both is an option? Then why the fuck is it <sighs> Actually, I never say either. I always know what to say every time I speak. Who's this fucking Jimmy Neutron ghost? I hate women. That's Jimmy Neutron. That's how he sounds. Yeah, I do both. What do you do when you're sad? He would never- What the fuck do you mean he would never? That's what, like, what the whole show is about. Literally, like, the whole show is about how much Jimmy hates women. I think, I think if they ever make a Jimmy Neutron reboot, it could use just like a heavy dose of misandry to kind of balance shit out. Like kind of atone for past sins, you know? What do you do when you're sad? Lie on the floor and feel like garbage. Cry. Repress it. Lamau, I'm fine. This quiz is fucking depressing. Watch Rita. <laughs> Whoever made this was like 15 years old. Watch read something I used to love when I was little. Wow, that's a little deep. I'm not gonna tell you that. Yeah, what the fuck are you asking me? Bitch, get away from me. You don't know me. What has kept you going this quarantine? Music, online chats. Like sex? Do they mean sex? Sexual pleasure? Is that what, is that what the winky face implies? Obscene sexual <laughs> mortal pleasure. What is the specific word of dread? Carnal. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word carnal pleasure. <laughs> uh, rediscovering childhoods. Honestly, nothing. I'm not okay, my dude. Oh my god. This um, this is the this is the quiz that uh the SNL writers took to study up for their uh, Gen Z hospital writing session. Um, I don't... This has been getting bullied in the law. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to be antagonistic about these quizzes that are clearly written by like teenagers like that's not a problem i just don't know i just don't know what i'm doing here you know at a, after at a, at a certain point penny you are back in school don't tell me that i'll cry 
I will fucking break down. Saw someone getting bullied in the hallway at school. What would you do? I would get in between them and fight the bully. Not my problem. Bye. <laughs> oh my God. Have y'all seen? Wait. Oh my God. That just reminded me. Oh my God. Have you seen the fucking, uh, that Syl Sylvanian drama TikTok account? Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I was going to show it on stream. I probably can't show it because all the music they use in the videos is licensed. Um, I'll show you the, <laughs> the page at least. Please, for the love of God, uh, go, go look at these videos. They're the funniest shit in the world. You can mute it if it doesn't ruin it. I mean, it doesn't entirely. I guess I could keep playing the Animal Crossing music. <laughs> this is, it's essentially like yeah omg sustainable essentially someone making like using like little sylvanian um sylvanian families calico critters figures to like play out like really like uh melodramatic like mean girls type social situations like like mini soap operas using calico critters and sylvanian families um, here's, here's this one. <laughs> the, the cinematography on these are, is so good. <laughs> I'm actually so happy for them now. Spam. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. So there's just <laughs> fucking. He's got like. Like a hundred of these on the backlog. So go, um, go check that out at some point. It's so funny. I watched like eight of those earlier today and was just like losing my shit the whole time. Uh, not my problem, bye. I'm lucky they're not bullying. <laughs> oh yeah, I really got off scot-free there. Um, I go tell the teacher, I'll feel bad, but I'll pretend I didn't see anything. I don't want to get involved in this. I'm lucky they're not bullying me. Nerd ass, bitch ass nerd I am. How do we feel about sheet ghosts? Classic. It, if you can see them like walking around on the floor, then they're tacky. If they're like like kind of floating, like at least a little bit spectral, sheet ghosts, classic. Which word most defines you as a ghost? Sad. But I think being a ghost is sad. You're dead. You're not gonna be able to go to Costco anymore. That's kind of sad. What are you diagnosed with? Tourette's? Um... <laughs> Daddy issues being a bastard. Oh. <sighs> Who doesn't, you know? Your favorite fictional ghost. I mean, Casper comes to mind, but I'm not actually all that familiar with Casper. Nafsa Bluke is a good pick. Chase. Oh, yeah, Chase. Chase Young. Yund. <laughs> From the clown house. Dot org. Dot com. Dot gov. Oh, shit! Speak o oh, the devil. Yes, the one from Undertale. Cool. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Okay, uh... Next one. 
What does your choice of words say about you? Words are kind of cool sometimes, don't you think? Enter my name. We'll start by just picking a pretty word. Where's quintessential? I love that word. Symphony nocturnal. <laughs> I don't know how to say that, and I'm not going to try because chat's going to make fun of me. Fern. Ebullience. Ebulence. Whimsical kaleidoscope. Oh, sequoia. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've never seen that word spelled out. Sequoia is really pretty. I've literally never seen that like spelled out before. I've only heard it, so that adds up. Um, I'm I'm in between symphony and sequoia. So, oh my god, sequoia is so pretty. I love saying it. Never mind. That's a that's a pretty word. Pick a funny word. <laughs> Ever could <de> <laughs> wait. Snazzy! <laughs> Bass! <laughs> Yabracadabra! <laughs> Gnome! <laughs> Coagulate! <laughs> Pumpernickel! <laughs> Oodles! Uh, oodles! The funniest word here is probably. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of cringing a little bit. Bruh, I'm kind of cringing. It's probably gnome, yeah. Pick a word made up of two other words. Teacup, lily pad, dew drop, cliffside, cherry pick, fairy tale, archway. Cherry pick. Cherry pick is really fun to say. Cherry pick. Cliffside, dew drop, teacup, lily pad. Archway. I. Ooh. Ooh. I like the texture of the word archway. It's like the easiest one to say. Archway. It like flows. Like, I could put this in, like, a song, and it would, like, flow really well. Like, archway, archway. Yeah, archway. I'm trying not to neglect my French, so pick a pair of French. That's, that's cute. Crepe school. Ansorcelle. Lucio. Mathieu. Sapé les popes. Ebloissante. Des greens en lait. Et métoflé. Chocolate, sonole, citroy, libéu, crocante, pan lemon. Sapel, sapel popin. Oh my stars! That's really cute. I like this one. This one's cute. I'm also learning Spanish. Th Whoever wrote this is adorable. <laughs> uh, abrazo, naranja, dulce, siempre, medio día, cariño, enamorada, naranja. Or it'd be, no, it'd be naranja. Yeah, yeah, it'd be naranja, right. Abrazo, naranja. Dolce, siempre, medio odio, cariño, enamorada. Hug orange sweet, always noon, dear, enamored. Enamorada is. That's really pretty. Cariño, dear. I really like cariño. I love that. That's so cute. 
That's really cute, and also it's really fun to say. Cariño. Oh, that's adorable. Dear. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Pick a word related to light. Scintillate. Shimmer. Sparkle. Luminous. Dusk. Celestial. Aurora. This is such a pleasant quiz. This is really cute. This is a nice palette cleanser. Uh, Shimmer. That should make me think of The Last of Us right now. That's uh, Ellie's horse's name. In a Talao 2. Um, Luminous is pretty good. Sparkle. Is Ellie a horse girl? No, I don't think so. Jackson is a horse city. I'm in between Shimmer and Luminous. I think I think my pick is Luminous. Pick another random pretty word. <laughs> it's really just like going down the list. A traumatized anime girly. Juniper, Labyrinth, Elixir, Crescendo, Murmur, Raspberry. I like Crescendo. That's an easy one. It's a good word. Pick a word from the lyrics of Folklore Evermore. I don't know what the fuck that is. Folklore Evermore. Epiphany. Hoax. Ricochet. Mercurial. Incandescent. I love Ricochet. It's got like some fucking... Oh, that's Taylor Swift? Oh, okay. That adds... That tracks. <laughs> that tracks. Yeah, I like Ricochet. What better way to end this quiz than with a word starting with Z? How fucking cute is that? How adorable is that? Zeal, Zeitgeist, Zest, Zenith, Zigzag, Zephyr, Zucchini. This is just, uh, this is just good vibes. This whole quiz. Yeah, someone had a blast making this. This was like, they just got done with their homework and they were like, I'm gonna share some good energy. This is so wholesome. I like Zenith. You speak confidently. <laughs> Formally, you're a great orator because of your confidence, because of your confident presence. Informally though, you talk quickly and animatedly and like to play around with words, which sometimes results in you using a word in the completely wrong context. You also probably have a great sense of humor. Hey, look at that. What a nice little quiz. And like relatively, I think, kind of accurate. What a nice, what a nice little quiz that was. Anyway, let's do the homestuck one. Um. So. I got, can I say, can I say? <laughs> can I, can I fucking say? That was not planned or calculated whatsoever. I saw that it was the next one in the tab and I initially was gonna elaborate on my enjoyment of the previous quiz. But since I saw this was the next one, I was like, oh, this will be a fucking good, this is a good bit. Oh my god, I'm so happy it worked out that way. That, um, ooh, okay. Sorry, I'm like, I don't often like to sit and like simmer on how much I enjoyed my own bits on stream. I'm really proud of that one. That was not intentional whatsoever. I saw Sarah Zedek suggested this one. Yeah, I actually had this one in the list before, uh, before she suggested it. Someone else, someone in uh, the Discord suggested it. Oh, did someone, wait, did someone clip it? Hold on. Did I clip it? <laughs> I have to... Hey, look at that! What a nice little quiz. And like, relatively, I think, kind of accurate. What a nice, what a nice little quiz that was. Anyway, let's do the Homestuck one. Hey! <laughs> 
Hell yes. Oh my god. Oh, I nailed that. I'm sorry. I'm really trying not to toot my own horn, but Okay. No, let's let's do this one. Let's actually do this one. Um Okay. How long is this one? I isn't this one like particularly long? Am I getting that correct? It's long. Okay, well, strap in. We're doing it. <laughs> you have to post that on Twitter. I probably will. <laughs> yeah, the people left. Nah, people have been, people have been, like, this has been a, a pretty high fluctuation of a viewership um, throughout the whole stream. I think, like, we've, we've gone between, like, 840 people and, like, 750, like, back and forth like crazy. People are dropping in and out like crazy. So. Also, by the way, speaking of, yeah, that being said, we've kept like over a solid 700 viewers for like most of the stream. That's insane. Thank you so much for coming to watch. Like, I'm like, I'm so thankful about that. I'm so glad people are interested and like are having a good time, I guess. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Um, Okay, so I'm a Leo. My birth, my birthday is August twentieth. If you're curious. Um. Oh, I'm getting. Hold on. Sorry to uh cut cut off. I'm getting a call from somewhere. I'm gonna uh, be right back. BRB screen really quickly. Hey, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, as a sudden BRB, I just had to, um, uh, so earlier in the stream, I mentioned I, I got distracted and forgot to finish, uh, rescheduling an appointment I have with somebody. Um, and, uh, it turns out they, they, they called me <laughs> to finalize that, uh, midstream, so I had to take care of that really quick. Uh, but yeah, everything's good now. Um, are people doing discourse in chat? Y'all know how I feel about this. If, if y'all... If y'all can't behave, I'm gonna have to turn chat off on the on the archive. Cause I don't want it. I don't want the fucking bad vibes going on into infinity with this archive. I, I I'm 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 trusting you to allow me to do this but for quiz. Me, prospecting Homestuck system you are about to brush up against is such a fascinating system to analyze slash categorize characters. Like, it genuinely enhances my reading of lots of texts. You're the analytical type. I think you'd like it. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll, I'm gonna do this. This is like the most homestuck I'll allow on my stream <laughs> anytime soon. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna appreciate it. We're just gonna appreciate it. Let's not get too crazy. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna be a personality. <laughs> also, hi, Sophie. Um, okay. Selected the olive sign class. That means your true sign is one of the signs below. To find out which, continue taking this. You're able and generous. Olive signs are always ready to lend a hand or a sympathetic ear. Oh, they are devoted friends and deeply romantic partners ready and able to build from the foundations up. You will learn more about what it means to be a olive sign when you see the final <laughs> I enjoy the occasional typo. Uh, when you see the final results of the test. Uh, now you will need to determine your lunar sway. This, oh God, this test tells you <laughs> sorry, I'm just oh boy, how was not I don't think I was mentally prepared to get into all this. This test tells you whether you are a prospect dreamer or a dearth dreamer. Either one says something about your perspective on life and the world around you. Finding out your lunar sway is one of two critical pieces of information needed to determine your true sign. Oh, is it? For each question below, choose the answer that most closely reflects your... Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Some people on the internet you know are negatively discussing something you hold dear. You could just let it slide, or you could get in there and defend it with your life. How do you respond? 
I'll leave it alone. I'll join the conversation when the topic is passed. I'll stay out of it for the most part, except possibly to correct some factual errors I might notice, which could be negatively influencing their view of the thing I like. Chime in my opinion, stating that I like the thing, but I won't really argue about it. Teach their own. As, as I can already tell, I'm most like C. Um, I did it with uh, with Bojack Horseman earlier tonight, actually. Um, I introduced a, uh, a new, like, TV movie discussion channel um, on my uh, Discord. And, um, and uh, the topic of Bojack Horseman came up, and I was like... It wasn't, it wasn't even really super brought on. It was just people started talking, people started saying the general sentiment, which I see a lot about like, oh, Bojack, like Bojack, Bojack Horseman, I know it's good, but it's not for me because I think it's too much for me to handle. But like, my experience with Bojack Horseman was intensely different. And I, I had to talk about it because I feel like I have to talk about this every time I hear that sentiment. Like, my experience with Bojack no, I agree, Moenichka. I found it very easy to watch because I think Bojack is an intensely optimistic, and I literally use the word joyous show. It has so much life and fun and joy spilling out of it at nearly every moment. And it does cover tough topics, and it doesn't pull punches, and it does get real uh, in, in a lot of instances, but it is also incredibly optimistic it is incredibly kind it is an extremely good show i would recommend to literally everybody because even the times where it gets rough it is extremely valuable that it does it says very very good and smart things in those instances that i honestly think most if not everybody could use in one way or another it is so fun 90% of the time I'm watching Bojack, I have just like the biggest smile on my face. It is so, I don't know about joyous, but optimistic I agree with. I don't, I, I think joy, I use the word joyous very intentionally. It is a fucking wacky, silly, hilarious show. It, it, it experiences so much joy in its, in its own sense of like world building and and, and character interactions and its, its comedic style. There, there's so much joy dripping out of it. I would say, as, but yeah, as you can see, <laughs> let's see, entirely different. You're all set to cook dinner when you realize you are missing a couple ingredients from this recipe you're using. What do you do? Um, honestly, it depends on what I'm cooking. If, it, if it's something I've made before. If I'm missing key ingredients, Um, well, okay, this is tough because I don't cook. <laughs> I, uh, I have like a legitimate anxiety towards cooking. I've talked about this before. It's something I'm trying to work on, but, um, at the moment I don't cook because it fucking freaks me out. Um, but if I were to cook, probably go to the store and get the stuff I'm missing. Because normally, at the moment, when I do try to cook, I don't have a lot of ingredients on hand anyway. I generally order to make stuff most of the time. Um, how do you feel meeting online friends and parts for the first time? Quite positive. Things are probably going to good, find good, but you'll see how things go. Hard to say until you've met somebody. Um, anywhere between C and D. B, C, and D? Probably B, actually. Um, having a hard time grasping a topic in class and that everyone else seems to be fine with. You. <laughs> the topic is you. You're having a hard time grasping a topic in class that everyone else seems to be fine with. You. <laughs> <laughs> you raise your hand immediately to straighten things out. Probably just misheard or tuned out for a few minutes. Yeah, you! Um, lean over and ask a friend. Do research on your own. Do something you surmise the class and the professor are wrong about this topic. Still memorize the answers for the test, though.
Probably... I'd probably ask someone around me first. Sure. Um... Start taking lessons to learn something you've wanted for a while. A language class, art class, bartending. Well, I actually did something... Oh, I did something like this very recently. The beginning of this year. So, um... I might be able to answer this pretty accurately. Uh, pretty, like, freshly. You started taking lessons to learn something you've wanted to for a while. Language class, art class, bartending lessons, etc. Decide a few weeks in that it definitely isn't your thing. You decided to stick it out, though. Why? Oh. Well, with the music class, it definitely was my thing. I just didn't stick it out. Like, this is literally the exact opposite situation. It absolutely was my thing. I just got very, very overwhelmed and couldn't finish it. Um... You decide to stick it out, though. Why? You never know what might grow on you. So money and time in this already, you're going to finish it. It's already on your schedule for the next couple of weeks. So you don't want to move your stuff around. You aren't a quitter. If you dedicate yourself to something, you're going to do it. If you stop, it means that you didn't like this thing as much as you thought you did, which means you didn't know yourself the way you thought you did, which is unacceptable. This... This assumes that I don't quit things. <laughs> I quit things all the time. How am I supposed to answer this if this is not the way I behave? This is assuming a situation that's happened in my life that hasn't really happened. At least not in a way that like is is clear enough for me to answer. Um I'll just pick A. I'm not too married to this answer. When you're on holiday, do you prefer to leave your itinerary mostly up to chance, or do you plan it out ahead of time? You plan out a few key things, but mostly play by ear. That's, that's me, 100%. It's a very strange question. It presupposes what you say, and also that sticking it out only ever happens for that specific reason. Yeah, no, I feel that, that I, I feel like that was a poor, qu poor question. Um, a lot of assumptions happening on that one that, like, didn't, don't really click with me. Um, for any years and someone you don't know are caught up in a heated argument, they've asked you to help facilitate. You want to support your friend, but after hearing both sides, you actually agree with the stranger. How do you choose who to support? Uh, you side with your friend all the way. Friendship is more important than truth. You highlight anything about your friend's side that you do agree with and tactfully don't mention the rest. Look for a neutral angle that supports both sides in different ways. I mean... If a friend of mine and somebody that I don't even, like, fucking know... ...asked me... ...full on, without my consent to, like, mediate something in that way... Like, hey, do you want to get involved? I- I mean, I don't really... <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, my friends will, like, sometimes vent to vent to me about things but not in a way where it's like i need like i need you to in, to get involved with this like i need you to get in between us and facilitate this discussion um again like this is like uh, this is a very hypothetical thing and i don't fully <laughs> uh You actually agree with the stranger. This is like, uh, act like it among us. This is like so, ah, uh, this is like useless. <laughs> as if, as if any of this is like fully useful. That's like a very weird thing to describe this as, but like, I don't know. I just like, I don't fucking know. This whole quiz is, <laughs> this whole quiz is a sussy baka. <laughs> Looks like we might have an imposter among us. Probably B, I don't fucking know. You have a very important message to write over email or some other text communication method. Will you back up Chase if he is wrong about something? I'll... I'll back him up in that he's my friend and I will fucking like be there to emotionally support him. If he genuinely asked me for my perspective on if he was wrong about something, I would say yes. But normally I don't have much point of reference for how I would act in that situation because I don't 
often have that situation happen to me. Like, normally the way it goes down is in incredibly different. So, like, I don't really know how to answer it because I don't have, like, the... the experiential tools to put that into full focus. But I think probably B, like, you know, I... <sighs> no, but I mean, like... Okay, no, I'm thinking about this all wrong. I'm thinking about this all fucking wrong. Let's just go full hypothetical. If I was specifically fucking there to mediate this thing or whatever and, like, be impartial, I would be impartial. Again, also assuming that I agree with the stranger, whoever the fuck or whatever the fuck is going on, D. You have a very important message to write over email or some other text communication methods. It is, it's a sensitive matter, difficult to compose, possibly of an emotional or confrontational nature. Plenty of experience with that. When you're done writing, you're about to hit the send button. What next? I mean, I know this for sure. Let's see. What have I actually done like a million fucking times within the past year? Um, click immediately. Better get it over with done and quick. Not just yet, you give it one more read, maybe change a couple things to send away. If you're giving another read, you decide to take some time, come back to it later with fresh eyes, maybe a friend read it too before sending. Save a draft, decide to sleep on it. When you look at it again, you might have second thoughts about sending, or you might rewrite rewrite altogether. You save a draft to revisit later, but when you do, you start to agonize. Maybe rewrite once or twice, but that's gonna need to create. Past experience tells you there's a decent chance you may just never send it. Very careful. Sometimes you will fault. Your lunar sway is Prospect. Prospect dreamers are intuitive, flexible, and accepting. Banana moon. Ring, 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 ring. Tend to live in the moment, able to adapt to situations as needed. They prefer to solve problems with creativity rather than cold logic. You will learn more about what it means to be a Prospect dreamer when you see the final results of the- Jesus Christ. Now you- Oh shit, I have, I just got two new epic game store requests. Now you need to determine your aspect. The results of this test tell you whether your aspect is a breath, blood, life, doom, light, void, time. Oh my god. Whatever the fuck. Find out your aspect. This is the final piece of information you need to, to determine your true sign. Oh, it's not that long. This isn't too bad. The doom aspect. Uh, think about your life as if it's a story and you're the main protagonist. <laughs> don't I always? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't. I used to. <laughs> that's, that's neither here nor there. Do you tend to view yourself as a lone hero? Who, oh, then I'll probably be able to answer this because this is exactly how I used to think and I'm fucking ashamed of it. Do you tend to view yourself as a lone hero who along the way meets other supporting characters? Um, you only have a tangential relation to your personal journey. Do you view yourself as just one hero in an ever-shifting ensemble of the foreign protagonist? <sighs> Often thought of myself as a lone hero. In my, in my worst moments, I was very like, it's me. Um, way past that. That was when I was like 16. Um, I think this explains the MLP RP. <laughs> oh my god, don't even get me started. When you want to help people accomplish something, uh, and they don't know what they're doing. Hmm? What are people saying, like, what are people saying no about? Uh, when uh, when you want to help people accomplish something and they don't know what they're doing, are you inclined to show them how to do it, or are you inclined to make them feel motivated or inspired to do it? I'll go either way. It really depends. This is a very vague, vague question. It really depends on the situation. Um, oh, is it discourse stuff? Get out of here. Don't do that. Yeah, chill out. Um... 
When you're learning about a new subject or reading a fascinating story, do you feel strong desire to know everything about it and have all your questions answered? Are you more compelled or inspired by feelings of mystery surrounding not knowing everything? Again, it's so situational. It is so situational. Like, I think it, personally, it really comes down to what the intent of the work is. If the intent is, if the intent is to be mysterious and to leave things unanswered, I am perfectly okay with that as long as it is represented well. If, if something implies to me that it is going to give me answers, if, if I go, if I am given the expectation to discover the truths about the story's themes or whatever inner workings of the plot it might want to reveal to me, if it doesn't, then I am unsatisfied. But like, that is so situational. I guess, um, the most true thing here is that I am okay not having all answers. But this does not mean I am not okay not having answers, right? Like, or I'm not okay with being given the answers in terms of like watching something or whatever, right? Like, it's, it's down to intent, I think. Uh, artistic execution, it really depends. Again, so situational, but that's, I feel like that's the most true out of the options. Um, paints a homestuck quiz, it's not worth the debate. I don't, I don't know why people keep like, <laughs> why are you trying to make me feel bad for thinking this stuff through as I do? It's, this is just how I talk through my, my shit. Uh, when you hear someone explaining something to someone else in a way that is questionable or in a way that makes you suspect they don't fully understand the subject they are explaining, are you more inclined to teach them everything you know about the subject to set the record straight or just cast out? I, I personally, like, find, I, I find it, like, I find it fun to talk things through. <laughs> I guess sometimes, I, I sometimes talk myself in circles. I often do. But like, you know. Again, I was, this is the third time, this is, this is just how I think. This is just how I do it. Um, when you hear someone explaining something to someone else in a way that is questionable, or in a way that makes you suspect they don't, oh my god, I need to start over. This is like, when you hear someone explaining something to someone else in a way that is questionable, pause, or in a way that makes you suspect they don't fully understand the subject they are explaining, pause, are you more inclined to teach them everything you know about the subject to set the record straight or just cast doubt on the misinformation without offering... Did I write these questions? Like, why are these so fucking, like... Um without offering much in the way of correction. I'm shaking my head. I'll jump right in, set the record straight on everything. I'll provide a correction with you, but won't get carried away. Probably stay out of it. If I am not actively invited into the conversation, it is none of my fucking business to correct or not. Right? Like, when you hear someone explaining something to someone else in a way that is questionable, like, is this trying to imply that I am an outside observer? Because if not, if so, I probably would just mind my own fucking business. And once again, <laughs> different answers apply to different scenarios. I'm gonna go with the most, like, benign kind of interpretation here. You know what? Someone told me if I answer neutrally, it's not gonna give me points either way, so I'm just gonna keep it, because, I mean, I feel this way. <laughs> yeah, like, if you're gonna make it this long, at least tell me... Give me something else at this point, you know? Like, this kind of vagueness is, like, kind of okay if you're cutting off the question, like, right here. <laughs> Once you get to this point... <laughs> You gotta give me more than that. 
Um, you could choose one ability, which would it be? <laughs> the ability to travel to any period in history on Earth at will, past or future. <laughs> I, I swear, part of me, I know, I saw all of this, but, but part of me was like, what if this is really all that it's asking? If you could choose one ability, what would it be? The ability to cope. Uh, the ability to travel to any period in history on Earth at will, past or future. Uh, or the ability to safely travel, such as on a nice ship anywhere in the universe at will instantly. Um. Uh, I'm, I'd lean towards time travel, mainly. Time power teleportation, yeah. I lean towards time travel. Space kind of freaks me out. Space kind of freaks me the fuck out. I have literally had, I have never had any interest in going into space ever. <laughs> space is wet. It's pretty rancid to me. I, I have, I've, my entire life, I have had absolutely zero interest in space. At least in terms of going there. I think space is interesting from like a, like a, um, a studious, studious? Is that the word? Studious perspective? Um, but, uh, I wouldn't want to go. Um, so yeah, B, probably. You're working on a project, something you're doing for yourself, not for anyone else. Are you obsessively focused on the end result of the project? Or are you enjoying the process regardless of how it turns out? Result is very important, but would like to enjoy it along the way. That's so agreeable. It's the most agreeable thing I've ever read in my life. Um. Past kind of sucks is the problem. I agree. I, I would have chosen the teleportation if it didn't also specify future travel. It specifies you could also go forward. There's not really much that interests me about going backwards. But I could maybe see myself getting some value out of seeing forward, you know? Maybe. Um... If out of curiosity, nothing else. Again, but like I said, I'm not curious at all about going to space, so it kind of beats it out. I don't feel very strongly either way. I just kind of, out of the two. You could go back to 2019. I don't think I would want to. Which one? Wait. I'm trying to, was 2019 the shit one or was it 2018? <laughs> I think both of them are pretty fucking. Nah, 2019 was like, well. No, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about for me. <laughs> I'm, ta I'm talking about for me. I know 2020 was the shit one, but like, this is, this is from in inside. Um, I was I was determining between 2019 and 2018. Uh, I don't know. This is useless. Um, Dropshin best describes what's important to you: understanding yourself or fully knowing who you are. Understanding yourself and fully knowing who you are, or thinking rationally and making strong decisions. <sighs> um. Definitely thinking rationally. If I had to pick one over the other, I'd be impressed. Definitely understanding myself. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I don't... I don't think these are mutually exclusive. In fact, I would say one... Actually... Both very much inform each other, I would argue. Right? Like, is that is that a crazy conclusion to come to? Like, I don't... I don't get the distinction here. Um, I think knowing oneself is important to being rational. Yeah, no, I, I think, I think similarly. I don't, I don't see why they have to be so separated. Um, 
but you know, it's just, just for the sake of it, understanding myself feels more true to my own priorities. Um, what idea is more interesting to you? The ability to fully understand your potential as a person or the ability to fully understand all potential consequences of your actions before taking them? Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> get out a lot, get out of a lot of shit that way. Absolutely. That's so practical. <laughs> I, I've, I've fucking, I've been told my whole fucking life how great I'm gonna be and like how awesome the shit I'm gonna do is gonna be. So rarely am I told, don't fucking do this, it'll suck! No message, just wanted to donate. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Um, I don't need the hype, I need the foresight. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> which better describes your attitude? Having great conviction in certain beliefs or ideas you're attracted to? or casting strong doubt on beliefs or ideas you dislike. Hold on. I really, I'm starting to really like, I gotta, I gotta change the way I talk cause I know this is exactly how I talk. <laughs> like this is exactly how I write things. And I feel like having to interact with something that was clearly written by me and like an alternate timeline, like I feel so fucking, self-conscious right now because i'm i'm having so much trouble understanding cer certain things um it's it's actually rather clear it's just it's wordy and so it disguises itself as being complicated to understand which better describes your attitude having great conviction in certain beliefs or ideas you're attracted to or casting strong doubt on beliefs or ideas you dislike I mean, are we talking about like ideally, like what I like, which better describes your attitude? So this is more behavior. Probably D then in terms of like, I, I, I feel like sometimes I, I definitely tend to lean towards commenting on beliefs. I dislike or disagree with rather than purely fully leaning into beliefs that I personally hold. Um, and in terms of like ideals and like things I would like to do, I would like to have more personal conviction rather than cast doubt or um, not, not even doubt, just like cast disagreement on the conviction of others. But like in terms of my actual tendency, I tend to lean more towards this one naturally even though I'm working on leaning more towards the former. Um, when circumstances are intolerably bad, which are you more inclined to do? Come up with the best alternatives or solutions and work as hard as you can to make those happen. Uh, can you zoom in a bit? Yeah, absolutely. When circumstances are intolerably bad, which are you more inclined to do? Come up with the best alternatives or solutions and work as hard as you can to make those happen instead. Or don't worry about a better alternative. Don't worry about a better alternative. Burn it down. You know, whatever follows, you'll just deal with it as it comes. Sorry, that Italian dinner is coming back to haunt me. Um, what is this talking about? When circumstances are intolerably bad. <laughs> um, I don't know. You try to make it better or say fuck it. Yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting. I I try to make I I pff, fuck. I, I, uh. <laughs> I'm inclined to have a solution first. Sure. That's just non-committal enough for me. Um See someone suffering, or are you most inclined to do whatever you can, whatever you can to help them get better, or is your instinct to relate to their suffering to empathize without necessarily considering how you can help? What is? Uh, okay. 
have to read every single one of these questions like three times before I feel like I can answer it. You see someone suffering, are you most inclined to do whatever you can to help them get better? Or is your instinct to relate to their suffering to empathize without necessarily considering how you can help? Is it one of those like a step to the- Again, yeah, the, this quiz is very much like... It's it, this- I, I feel like this quiz is extremely, um... Like... Taking... A, uh, it's like... Taking concepts that sort of lead into one another in a way where it, it goes from like impulse to action, right? Separating them, treating them as alternatives to one another, rather than one being the next step of the other. Which I think is interesting in the sense that this might really just kind of boil down to, are you a more active person or are you like more of a sort of reserved kind of personality um which is kind of the vibe i'm getting here but the way it's presenting it is very like it's 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 confusing because it's like like yeah these are not like mutually exclusive things um most inclined to help them most inclined to do whatever you can Okay, but I'll focus mostly on helping, but won't be able to stop myself from relating to the problem. But this, the actual, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking like, okay, so maybe it doesn't really even want me to treat them as like mutually exclusive things, but this like fully assumes that you, you can't do one and also do the other, right? Like, what is this? Probably D then, because D at least is what I'm talking about, where I think naturally, at least my process is like, yeah, my first impulse is to empathize. And then after that, yeah, I'd like to help if I can. Also again, very vague, but like, you know, we're not gonna get much better than that. Um, yeah, oh, that sucks, let me help. Not let me help, but I also don't think it sucks or like I don't feel for you. Like this is really weird. This one is weird. Uh Okay, this is the last one. When someone suffers misfortune so terribly <laughs> Jesus Christ, this quiz. When, so <laughs> when someone suffers misfortune so terrible that you know there is nothing anyone can do for them. Are you <laughs> Why if someone fucking died? Yeah. Why why is this quiz like this? Um nothing any this is so this is so negative. I feel like this is so like this kind of this quiz is giving me like bad vibes. Um if someone suffers misfortunes so terrible that you know there is nothing anyone can do for them. Are you most inclined to... I don't... I'm trying not to... I'm really not trying to be mean here. Are you, I'm just having a gut reaction to how, like, how... How rancid the, some of the vibes of, like, the imagery here is. Are you most inclined to feel horrible that nothing can be done? Or feel resigned to the sense that this is the way of the world and some things just can't be helped? What? A? Yeah. Yeah. Generally, yeah, when someone is hurting and cannot be helped, generally my response is like, oh yeah, that sucks. I wonder if there's a way around it. Who knows? <laughs> God. My aspect is heart. Self-contained, competent, and obsessive. The heartbound's chief drive is to know themselves. They seek to forge a strong identity. They're also extremely adept at putting on whatever mask a situation requires. You'll learn more about what it means to be heartbound when you see the final results of the test. Click here for more. Uh, you now have enough information to determine your true sign. What's my true sign? 
Lilo <laughs> and Stitch? Oh shit! Chicken chicken ha! I got chicken baba! Got a little chicken! Make it make it coconut! Son of the stud fast! If your true son is Lilo! Not expecting that switch? You mean that stitch? Uh, we assess the unique combination of quality. <laughs> I saw my end stream, yeah. Combination of quality is helped all by all Olive Signs, Prospect Dreamers, and Heartbound. All right, let's read. <laughs> Olive Signs are, by and large, incredibly agreeable people. They are generous and enthusiastic, ready to offer help to anyone who needs it. Luck plays a large role in their lives. <laughs> All of signs have a knack for being in the right place at the right time. Yeah. I mean, generally, if you look at kind of my whole situation, you could surmise that's the case. Um, even in the case that their luck goes bad, they can ride through patches out without falling too far into depression or hopelessness. Uh... That said, all the signs are most comfortable with the things that they are familiar with. New places and ideas often alarm them. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's like, hey, have you ever heard of fucking Paris? And I'm like, ah! What the fuck? Um, new places and ideas often alarm them, resulting in a dogmatic insistence that their way is the right way. I don't know about that. They can be quite bossy and domineering, although that usually comes out of a genuine belief that they know best and can help the ones they care about. <laughs> oh no, not the French! They have a place? They let them have one of those? Um. Extremely faithful friends and lovers, ready to drop everything and go into helper mode. However, if their trust is breached, there's no going back. I don't. No, I let people fucking walk over me so much. Uh, no one can hold the grudge like an olive sign. I, again, I disagree. They aren't afraid to just pick up and leave if they decide something isn't working for them. <laughs> that I do agree with. For the great impression, Wu. Thank you, I appreciate that. Romance and companionship are extremely important to them. So even if they get hurt, their hearts remain open. Benny is known for being a verdict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm always known for being a very strong decision maker. That never second guesses my decisions or, um, or, or experiences. That's me. That's Penny Parker. Absolutely. Um, oh, there's more. I don't care. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's so much of this here. There's so much here. We still have like 14 of these left. How many do I have? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 11. Still have 11 of these, not 14. Um. Okay. I want to do a fun one. I'm going to do a fun one. Let's do the statistical which character personality quiz. Penny, I want you to know I've been listening to the belly of a whale song all day and it's your fault. <laughs> So would you say that you're sleeping with fishes here in the belly of the whale? Okay. This is an interactive personality quiz that will determine your similarity with a long list of fictional characters. Um, this test is made of pairs of adjectives with a slider between them. For each pair, you must indicate by dragging the slider to where you fall on the spectrum between them. This test is adaptive, and you can select how many questions you want to do using the version option. The recommended version takes most people less than two minutes. Exhaustive. Oh, man. I'm so tempted to do exhaustive. Because they're just, they're just sliders. How bad can it be? I'm not, I don't have to read them. I'm, I... No middle sliders, yeah. I'm stuck between recommended and emoji and exhaustive. Emoji?
What are we what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Do we want to do a poll? Recommended an emoji versus exhaustive? Do we want to pull that? Emoji. Yeah, no, I, I assume emoji is included in exhaustive. I just, um, exhaustive is longer. Like I want to, I want to know what people are interested in seeing. All right. There's a poll active. A whole one twenty. I like that. Up to you. Feel free to vote either way. Remember, emoji is included in the whole one twenty. Have Akinator assign you a kin by answering about yourself. Here's the problem. Here's the problem with that. It's a good idea. I actually have entries on Akinator. I would get myself. <laughs> it would not be interesting. I am relatively a public figure. So it it just it wouldn't it wouldn't it literally wouldn't be useful. I would just be getting myself. <laughs> I recommend everyone do it individually though, because it is fun. Uh but I am I am cursed, literally cursed with being unable to do that for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay. Uh, so exhaustive one. Let's do it. Assertive or passive? Hmm. Yeah. Mad or glad? Yeah. This is, this is nice. This is simple. I'm going to zoom in also. That's very tiny. Stubborn or accommodating? Clean or perverted? What the fuck does that mean? I'm like, by whose fucking standard? Oh, that's it's a bowl. Of, that's a uh, can of worms. Uh, that was right here. I don't know. Stingy or generous? Oh, I mean, yeah, I think I'm pretty generous. I try to be. Can probably to a fault. <laughs> um, gregarious or private? I used to not be like private at all. I used to have like no fucking boundaries and that was a real problem for me. But in recent years, I've tried very, very, very hard to reclaim uh, my privacy and my boundaries and all that shit. So, as of now, I like to be—I like to be generally kind of private. Um, entitled or grateful? I don't think I'm entitled. Yeah. Rude or respectful? I would like, I, I gen generally really truly believe I, 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 I try my fucking best to like, just be like chill, you know? <laughs> Nerd or jock, fucking all the way. Refined or rugged? I'm not rugged for sure. Creepy or disarming? I don't know. I don't know. Disarming? What's what's the difference between the two? Disarming. Having the effect of allaying suspicion or hostility, especially especially through charm. Hostility through charm? So Am I creepy, or do I piss people off because I'm so fucking good at what I do? Ha! <laughs> All the way. Everyone wants to be me. No. Um, I don't know what this means. I'm skipping it. Skip it. Skip. Are you fucked up or are you cute? <laughs> are you fucked up or are you hashtag girl boss moments?
Slight, a spicier mild. Ooh, <laughs> well. Uh, no, I'm like. I'm like well, I mean. Can I just be right down the middle for this one? I truly believe I am unassuming either which way. Oh! <laughs> Cooperative. <laughs> Barbaric or civilized? <laughs> Have you seen me play Knockout City? <laughs> it was fucking crazy. My iPhone, I enjoy water. <laughs> Air conditioning helps take the edge off for me. Oh my god, I'm pretty civilized, I guess. <laughs> I can... <laughs> this is a fucking mess. Oh my god. Oh man. Vibrant or geriatric? Ugh. This is, why is he so? Why is he so? What is that day, Um, I think I'm pretty vibrant. I think I'm pretty vibrant. Seventy percent vibrant. Quirky or predictable? <laughs> oh man. How's my imposter syndrome doing that day? I'm like kind of quirky. Maybe fifty-nine percent. Maybe I'm being modest, but who knows. Cunning or honorable? Cunning. What is, what's the specific definition of cunning? Achieving one's ends by deceit or evasion. Yeah, no, I'm like, I'm pretty honorable, I'd say. Like 90%, I try to, I really, I try to be, so. Are you vibrant or are you in your fuck it, Ethan? <laughs> are you vibrant or are you ash? Are you are you in an urn? Um random or pointed Oh my god, why are there so many fucking I l I swear like I gotta fucking get this checked out. There's like I I just keep getting like fucking flies all around, like tiny little flies. Like, where the fuck are you coming from? Or is this the same one? I really can't tell. Um Random or pointed? I don't know. Skipping it. Are you emitting flies? That's not normal. I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm almost scared to check around my room. To see what's going on. I don't know if there's like an opening in my window or something. Um, it's like, it's getting to be summer. So like, you know. It's gonna be Thank bugs. you for being a friendly voice to listen to while I pack up to move to a new apartment tomorrow. This dream has been so comforting. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, I didn't even know what the question libertarian liber, libertarian or socialist. Okay. So I am I will just come out I'm not the most politically educated. I don't I don't think I've I I I try not to be dishonest about this. Um as I understand it. In, I'm not the most politically educated, but my values tend to align with socialism. Like I, I gen, gen, generally, I you know, with most of these, I, I hesitate to go all the way 100%. Um, but just based on what I know about things, which is admittedly pretty little, um, you know, I that's, that's, that's truly what I believe I tend to align with. Um, uh, chivalrous or businesslike? Chivalrous or businesslike? <laughs> the business is not chivalry. Business is fucking just backstabbing. Um, probably chivalrous. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm businesslike. 
If if business like is the opposite of chivalrous, I don't know if I'm business like in this case, you know? I could just skip this one. I don't chic or cheesy. Oh man. Oh man. I don't know. I'm probably a little cheesy. <laughs> a little cheesy. Yeah. I'm kind of cheesy. Whatever. <laughs> That's okay. Wise or foolish? <laughs> I don't know. I. This is weird. I don't ever, I don't ever have to like think of myself in these terms, you know? I think I'm kind of okay, you know, like I'm not, I'm not all there all the time, but like I, you know, I think I'm all right. Not 70% wise. Sure. Dunce or genius? Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm skipping this one. Ha ha! Oh, this is what emojis are. Literal emojis. They literally just have you ask between emojis or rate between emojis. <laughs> No. Am I yeah, am I your angle or your devil? I'm a little I'm like right down the middle, but I'm like a little bit, a little bit. Just a little bit. Ferocious or pacifist. I could probably be pretty ferocious if I wanted to be. I, ge I generally, I, I truly believe I could be like a very okay, fucking well. mean person if I Here's didn't care. Here's a quick care. thank you for getting me through tough times with your YouTube vids. Hopefully I can come into more streams soon. Love you lots. Keep up the awesome work. Heart. Thank you. Thank you. That's so sweet. Yeah, no, I, I truly, I think I am smart and creative enough to be like an extremely fucking mean and nasty person if I wanted to be. But since I actually give a shit, I try really hard to not be. So, um... Sunny or gloomy? I mean, I get depressed, but I'm not gloomy. I'm like, it really depends on the day. I'm like 60% sunny. We got change of meatballs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, like 80%. If you'd asked me when I was like, if you'd asked me when I was like 18, 17, I've been like, fuck all, 100%. But I'm like, I'll fucking, I'll wear pants. Why not? <sighs> um, you got pants? Yeah, I'm wearing pants right now, believe it or not. As a woman? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Chat's making fun of me. <laughs> I can't fucking, I can't stand y'all sometimes. <laughs> Like say something really fucking stupid and like nothing like that, and then chat just like takes it so seriously as a bit like it fucking. Oh my god, it kills me. Okay, um, 
genuinely. I was, I'm like, my impulse is to say right down the middle. Hey, uh, we, hey, we, we members of the clique all know a band that does both of these in equal measure. Am I right? 21 Pilots fans? Okay. Probably a little bit more rock. Um, unassuming or pretentious? <laughs> <laughs> Ask me when I'm 16, and I'm like, ah. I'm, I don't think I'm, I'm like. I'm leaving that 9% in there, because I, I guess like, yeah, I'm an, I'm an, I like, I, I'm kind of a lay person, but like, I'm also pretty cool, you know? Um, poison. <laughs> oh, shit. Am I poisonous? I don't think I'm poisonous. Am I fucking toxic? Am I a toxic streamer? Toxic streamer emotionally manipulates chat to compliment her on stream. <laughs> Toxic streamer says the Sonic movie supports police brutality. Um, I'm kind of, I'm thinking I'm timid. High tech or low tech? I mean, as a, as a streamer, I kind of like... I kind of have to be a little bit high tech. Like, just because of my job, you know? Like, it is my job to literally be like, okay. <laughs> be a little cocky as a treat. Serious or bold? Are they, are they exclusive? I guess they could be, they could be opposites at some, at some times. Taking risks versus like, Playing things very by the book. Yeah, I, this makes sense. Um, uh, I don't think so boldly of myself to say that I am particularly bold. <laughs> Do you belong in the trash? <laughs> no, I think I'm I mean, yeah, a little bit. Demanding or unchallenging? To who? To whom? To what? I'm skipping that. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> Wild or tame? Once again, to whom? Wink, wink, skip question. Debased or pure? Jesus Christ! What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm based as shit. I must be pure because I'm based as shit. Unbased. I'm skipping this one. Oh, pff, I don't give a shit. Oh, I press skip. Oh, damn. Oh well. Warm or cold? Like right now? Damn. Got me some fucking ice pops, baby. Not, I don't think I'm a cold person. I can, I can, like, again, if I'm, if I really didn't give a shit, I really could be. Um, I'm, I'm warm be because I tried to be. Not, not to say it's like a, like I'm faking it. Like, it's just, it, it takes effort to, you know, be a good person. Or of like a com like a welcoming, comforting person. Um, indie or pop? How about indie pop, baby? Uh, what is the name of this quiz? It is uh the statistical which character are you or which character personality quiz? Just look up statistical which character quiz and you should be able to find it. 
indie or pop? Um, are we talking like radio pop versus like indie shit? Because if so, like all the fucking, all the way. All the way. But like pop covers a lot of genres now. So realistically, probably more about like 80, 81% versus 19. S wholesome or salacious? What is the definition of salacious? Having or conveying undue or inappropriate interest in sexual matters. Okay. Skip question? I don't... What the fuck? Yeah, horny quiz. This is weird. Very artistic. I don't know shit about science. <laughs> Naive or paranoid? Oh, God. Oh, man. Are they mutually exclusive? <laughs> they Can they not really be one in the same at times? Can they not exist within the same entity? I don't think I'm naive. I also don't think I'm particularly paranoid, but I guess I have more tendencies of concern than I do of um, blind assumption, I guess. I don't think I'm naive. I, I really don't. I, I think I'm... I don't know. I'm optimistic, but I'm not naive. I don't think. At least. I try not to be. <laughs> this is fucking weird. <laughs> these, are, these are weird comparisons. Um, outlaw or sheriff? A cab. No crime. Ain't no fucking narc. Social or reclusive? I'm not. Rec I'm not reclusive. I'm just introverted. I'd say I. I am more social. No. Well. Oh uh, fucking no. It like if you were to if you were to look at my like actual behavior within the past like six months, like what I actually physically do, you would say, oh, she's absolutely reclusive. So to that end. Does that mean I am reclusive? Because really, at the end of the day, what's more important than behavior? But also, I'm not that way because I want to be. You know, like like it. I don't. I don't think I am reclusive. I think I am in a lot of different combining situations that have led me to become a little bit more internally focused. And also, you know, circum yeah, external circumstances apply uh, pandemic-wise as well. I think in my nature, I at least ideally, I idealize towards being more social. It's just um, I'm not in a position to a lot of the time. Huh. <laughs> I'm a little, I can be a little bit. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, they're not yeah, they're not really opposites, but for the purposes of like my personal examination. Flexible or rigid? Oh, I'm extremely flexible. See me do a summer salt? You haven't, because I can't. <laughs> um, no, I'm pretty flexible. I, I put up with a lot of, like, moving around. <laughs> Any limbo champion. Got my trophies on the shelf. You can ring up Penny's bones and she would be fine. I would get up the next morning and have a pancake in bliss. Like nothing happened. <laughs> Average or deviant? <laughs> uh, 
Again, I must ask the fabled age-old question to whom, my friend? It This is all relative. Skip question. Frank or sugar-coated? Probably more sugar-coated. I don't even know a Frank. I'm a genuine person, I think. I used to be kind of sarcastic, but I kind of dropped that shit as much as I... Unless I'm, like, performing. You know, I, I'm, like, I, I get sarcastic on stream because it's part of a performance, but when I'm interacting with people, I really don't exhibit a lot of sarcasm. Oh, boy. See, this is once again one of those things where it's like, if you saw my behavior, like, you would probably lean more this way, but... I feel like crying often, but chemically, it has been difficult for me to actually physically cry. Unless I'm like watching something. Um, with that block gone, I will likely, and I have actually been crying a lot more recently, just in general. That sounds so fucking sad. I just mean like I, and responding to things more like in a more lively fashion recently. So probably, probably, you know, probably not like 70, but probably more like 62, I feel. <laughs> Path or psychopath. Uh, I'm actually an empath, rings you like a towel. Bonks you up on the head with a frying pan. I know what you're feeling right now. I'm just gonna skip this one. I don't give a shit. This is purely situational. This is like... Like, what situation am I in? I guess I lean towards intimacy, though. Methodical or astonishing? Chat, am I astonishing? <laughs> I'm skipping this. I don't actually. I'm not going to answer that. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I have the right to determine myself as astonishing. Like, that's, that's like something you don't fucking call yourself. Like, that's a line you don't cross. That is not my place. Forgiving or vengeful? <laughs> I'm def, I'm definitely more forgiving. I would say. Common sense or analysis? I don't, I don't, I like, I like, I cringe and recoil at the phrase common sense nowadays. I grew up in a very like, wow, looks like common sense is becoming less common day by day kind of environment, you know? There is that kind of sen sentiment going all around the place all the time. So when I hear the phrase common sense, I'm just like, does it does it exist? Does it really exist? Is any is anything when it comes to sense truly common? Analysis. I don't fucking know. True Princey, thank you so much for the sub. Penny hasn't tasted sweet revenge. I'll have you know, I I played through the entirety of The Last of Us 2 recently, and the entire time I thought, oh man, I don't want to do this. So I think I have perfect, <laughs> I have perfect example to believe that I am not the kind of person who seeks revenge. Rational or whimsical? I'm pretty whimsical. I, th I think whimsically, I think. 
I think. Maybe? I don't know. It's a little bit generous, I think, to give myself that one, but... Who's to say? Maybe, maybe it says a lot about me that I view whimsy as a generous descriptor, right? Like, isn't that in and of itself a little bit of, like, an examination of my character? Right? Who's to say? Selfish or altruistic? I'm not selfish. I don't think. This is 83. You're being awfully rational about that decision. Fuck, you're right. I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm second guessing everything. Oh, cringe. Oh, I, I was like, why are people calling me cringe? And then I... Like cringe or the oh I'm fucking I'm so cringe. I'm so fucking cringe. I'm like like 69% cringe, baby. <laughs> Am I cringe or based? I don't know. I don't feel good answering. I don't want to call myself cringe. Orderly and chaotic. Oh, yeah. Nah, yeah. I'm not orderly whatsoever. Vulnerable or armored? Again, to whom? Um, I was pretty vulnerable. One time... No, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm bumping this up to 82 because one time I was streaming Minecraft and I was asking chat for a, 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 a key, key combination for something and they told me Alt F4 and I didn't even fucking realize it and I accidentally actually pressed Alt F4 and closed the game and I got, actually, like, I got really fucking sad about it for, like, hours. <laughs> Like arrogant or humble? <laughs> no, I don't feel it. I don't. Like, is it like? Is it? I'm. I'm so humble. I am one hundred percent humble. Um. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm arrogant. I think that's such a specific word that I don't really think I align with. Like. I don't think too highly of myself. I just I just don't think I'm an asshole. <laughs> you know. Who would ever call themselves arrogant? Yeah, I know. Hum hu hu I I think I am generally humble because it's something I strive to be. It's like something I actively work towards and it's like a it's a way of interaction and, and behavior that I, I try to align myself with. So like I know generally that I, I do a, a decent job because I have practiced for a very long time with it. Am I moderate or ex extreme? This means nothing to me. Works hard, plays hard. This past week, this would have been like 100%. Let me write down the middle. That's, it's like a boring answer, but I just... Modest or flamboyant? I'm pretty, I'm pretty modest. Like in the day today, like this is like, like on stream, obviously I'm like, I go, I go a little wacky. Because it's for entertainment value, but like on the day to day, I tend to be. I, I'm kind of. I'm, I don't know. I'm. I'm a little reserved. Trusting or suspicious? I am trusting. Gullible or cynical? I don't know. I'm not. Why are these. <sighs> why do I have to pick between these two? I guess I'm more gullible than I am cynical.
Loyal or traitorous? <laughs> who would, who would tra <laughs> describe themselves as traitorous? <laughs> am, I a, am I a sussy baka? <laughs> <laughs> looking kind of Penny, you've been looking kind of sus lately. Thinking there might be an imposter among us. <laughs> oh man, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm at all traitorous. I don't. There's. I don't think there's anything fucking traitorous about me. That is such a fucking extreme word choice. I don't- I don't want to say I'm 100% loyal, like, that's just a fucking weird thing to say, but, like... Also, I don't think I'm at all traitorous. I'm skipping this question, this put me in a weird position. Am I awkward or suspicious? I'm a little sus. But not- not a whole lot. Definitely more optimistic. Oh, God. What day of the week is it, you know? Like, what did I have for breakfast this morning? And then, you know, I'll get back to you. I just write down the middle. No, I'm more... I'm slightly more. Dispassionate or romantic? Ugh. I don't know if that's for me to decide. I do like love, yeah. I like love things. I'm not always the best at shit. I, I, I think I have a problem, like, accessing certain fucking, like, tendencies I should have in certain, like, situations. But, like, ideally, I think I'm more romantic than dispassionate. Am I a bad boy or a white knight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the face I'm making right now. Yeah, am I red pilled or an SJW? This is the worst question I've ever seen in my life. Skipping it. I'm le like legitimately like wincing, like in real life. Like, my teeth are showing right now. This is involuntary. Um, adventurous or stick in the mud? I'm more adventurous than a stick in the mud. Stinky or fresh? What the fuck is this question? What is the... Oh, man, we should not have done the 120... Because some of these are like... What are you doing? Oh man, if this was asking for aubergine, it'd be 100. Skip. Strict or lenient? Um, I'm fucking so lenient. I don't... I barely give a shit about anything. <laughs> um, Devoted or unfaithful? To people? Dev like... Relationships, I'm like... I don't do that shit. I don't fuck around with that shit. <laughs> this is the traitorous one again. Yeah, I figure... If this is talking about, like, interpersonal, like, romantic relationships, I don't fuck around with this shit. Never been a cheater, never will be a fucking cheater. Um, intellectual or physical? Intellectual or physical? Are you an entity or are you an idea? <laughs>
<laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Penny the Jess! <laughs> Oh, this is the just the question. Oh my god. Skip. I don't care. I'm good humored. I'm kind of good humored. 29% good humored. Angie. <laughs> are you angry or are you silly? Are you angry or are you silly? Are you a little bit funny or are you pissed off? Can you read or punch? <laughs> Slovenly or what the fuck are these questions? What are these words? Are you pissed baby or a silly clown boy? What is slovenly? Messy and dirty. No, I'm pr like kind of stylish. I'm like relatively stylish. I think. I don't know. This is so weird. Huh! Mischievous or well behaved. On stream? Day to day? Very well behaved. I'm a good girl day today. I'm a pretty good girl. Alpha. <laughs> Guys, if we want Ethan on our quiz, we gotta, we gotta play strategically. If we want Ethan Winters on our quiz, we gotta play strategically. Who fucking wrote this? I'm a reassuring. I don't fucking I don't do the whole ah it's so it sucks kind of thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm insulting either. <laughs> Scandalous or proper? To whom? By what standard? Skip. Deep or shallow? I don't think I'm shallow. I don't think I'm the deepest person. It's a lot I don't understand, but I think I have a desire to understand, which which I think exhibits at least a a tendency to uh to uh, to deep thought, even if I can't always reach that full standard. I'm a lover. I'm a louver, not a theater. <laughs> um. <sighs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm a little deliberate. On the day today, I try to be spontaneous in terms of like my work every so often, but like, I think generally I'm a little bit more like, I don't think I'm the most spontaneous person. I'm 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 actually I I think I'm pretty bad at like being <laughs> surprising on like an interpersonal level. I think everybody wants to say things like spontaneous, you know, but if I'm being real then intense or lighthearted. Yeah, I'm lighthearted. I can be intense, but I can be intense. Well, it depends on what I'm talking about. I can talk about intense things, but like, I'm generally lighthearted. Oh. Impulsive or cautious? I'm, I'm pretty impulsive. Not as much as I used to be. Yeah, you know, like, I'd probably end about here. I've gotten more cautious over the years. But, um, I do have impulse control issues, so. I- 
I don't have low self-esteem. I really don't have low self-esteem. I think I I have low self-esteem about like physical things, but in terms of like me, like like my like my soul, I think I generally like myself pretty well. I don't think I'm narcissistic. But then again, who does, right? But like I don't think I'm narcissistic, but I don't think I have low self-esteem. I think I, I guess if you count like physical shit, like I have more tendencies of low self-esteem than I do narcissism, but really not much to like write home about, you know? Couldn't just say like confident. Yeah, I think confident is a much better word. This is like really, I'm skipping this. Yeah, they're not like another, that's a weird set of words to, Oh yeah, I th as like a person, I think I'm okay. You know, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. Um, scheduled or spontaneous? Oh my God. Yeah. Cultured or rustic? I don't care. I'm, I'm not quarrelsome. I'm not, I'm not fucking cruel. <laughs> Again, the word choices here are like, who would even pick this? Loose or tight? This is getting weird. This is getting weird. I'm, I'm loose. I'm fucking loose. That's uh, the middle ditch in Schwartz. Chat, chill out, chill out. It's talking about personality. Um, valedictorian or dropout? I'm, I'm not, I'm not a valedictorian. I didn't, I didn't drop out, but my school situation was extremely fucking unconventional. I love every Middle Ditch and Schwartz reference. I know. Thanks. I appreciate it. It's such a fucking good show. Everyone should watch it. Everyone should watch those live shows. I need more of them. I'm loose, baby. <laughs> every time, every time you tell me to get loose, I get tighter. Then what, what what would help you what would help you get loose? Stop telling me to be loose. I'm not a dropout, but I definitely had more like dropout tendencies. I left so many schools, especially once I hit like high school. I I switched so much. I was not a valedictorian level. I did finish like schooling. I did get a degree, like a high school diploma. But um, I did it in an accelerated program because I would have dropped out if I had to do uh, the regular pacing of high school for the rest of like my three years. Um, so I did an accelerated program because that's literally the only way I could bear to finish school. Like I just, I needed to fucking get it over with. Bitter or sweet? I'm sweet. I'm sweet. 69% sweet. <sighs> I'm not authoritarian. Oh, fucking. No, it's democratic. Fucking go. 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 Why the fuck is it not mo It's like not letting me. Fu huh. Scholar. I'm not scholarly. I'm. I'm out of the two. This bar was fucking mad. This bar was trying to get me canceled. Am I ludicrous or sensible? Am I fucking ludicrous? <laughs> <laughs> Chad, am I ludicrous? <laughs> am, I am I fucking ridiculous? <laughs> Chad, am I fucking off the shit?
I'm skipping this. This is ridiculous. This, this is, hey, you know, this quiz right here is ludicrous. Um, they already asked me this one. We <laughs> answer this one. Uh-oh, they padded out the 120 questions. What a shocker. You know, why did they... Why did they have emojis as an added option if there was only going to be, like, fucking... Like, well, there, what, there's been, like, one emoji question, right? Like, two? There's been one. It was the devil in the smiley face. Or the devil in the angle. There's fucking one of those. What? Abstract. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little abs. I'm like seventy. <laughs> Innocent or worldly? <laughs> I'm like. I know the ways of the world. I think there's a lot I need to learn, but studious or goof off? Um, I don't care. Juvenile? I'm not juvenile. Like, 90% playful. No, this is like, wait, that's way too. I'm 63% playful. We're almost there. We're almost there. Am I punk rock or preppy? Oh man, I don't actually know. I don't. I don't think I'm fucking with it enough to be punk rock. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm punk enough. I'm more preppy. I think. I don't think I'm punk. I'm not. I'm not confident enough to be punk rock. Punk is dead, just asked. Yeah, I saw his tweets about that. It was uh, very interesting. <laughs> Who the fuck would describe themselves as soulless? <laughs> like what? I'm not. I'm not at all soulless. That's such a, de that's too definitive of a term to be on a percentage sliding scale. Are you fucking kidding me? Soul less, no soul. Soulless is the absence, the specific absence of soul. You cannot be a little bit soulless. <laughs> like you are, that word is so definitive. You are either soulless or not. Since I am not, I don't think, soulless, I cannot, in good conscience, give myself even a percentage of that definitive of a term. <laughs> I'm kind of soulless. I, mean, I have my moments. You have completed the test. What did it cost? <laughs> Everything. Oh, uh, we finished our Animal Crossing music playlist. I want to put on something else. Two point five hour awe inspiring and epic video game music collection. <laughs> Option video game soundtracks. Uh this one is just video game music compilation. Yeah. This is agreeable. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Great reviewers also be willing to rate some characters to make this test better for everyone. No, <laughs> I'm not spending any more time on this. Okay, let's see. Fucking moment of truth. I'm like scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> Whoa! Luna Lovegood. I love.
love nargles. Was that the, the fucking weird, like, nargles? Is that what they are? Yeah, I can see that. Isn't there one that I... is? Can I, like, look at, like... An 89% match with Luna Lovegood. I think that's agreeable. She's very, like... In any other, like, genre, she's, like, manic pixie dream girl. Which I, I disagree with, but, like... Complete match list. Oh. Oh, to get the complete list, I have to do the survey. Oh, no, here we are. Riley Blue from Sense8. I don't know who that is. Angela Montenegro from Bones. I don't I don't I haven't seen that either. <sighs> Kaylee Fry. Haven't seen Firefly or Serenity. Haven't seen This Is Us. Haven't seen Chilling Adventures. Arthur Weasley. It's another Harry Potter character. Alice Cullen. Uh, I used to go by Alice. It's fitting. Um, Penelope! Penelope Garcia. Hey, that's my name. Um, Iroh? Oh, shit! Um, I'm cool with that. Fuck yeah. Uncle Iroh. That's fucking, that's based as hell. And Aang! Got Hagrid. That's cool. I like that guy. He's pretty chill. Pam from The Office. Whoa. <laughs> Toby from Toby Damon from This Is Us. The Scarecrow. The Scarecrow doesn't this. Don't the Scarecrow not have a fucking brain, though? Oh my god. Oh, dude. Oh my god, this personality test just fucking owned me. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh no. Oh man, I just got fucking pwned by a personality test on the internet. Ugh. And I did it on stream too. Oh man. Uh. <laughs> Oh shit, Jess Day of New Girl, the fucking ultimate manic pixie dream girl. You see that, chat? I'm the fucking girl of your dreams. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh no. Anna from Frozen, I can get behind that. Dory from Finding Nemo. What the fuck? What the fuck is this music? Oh, these streets of White Run. <gasps> Remy Ratatouille! Oh shit! Let's go, go, go! <laughs> Change is nature, Dad. The part that we can influence. And it starts when we decide. Let's go, go, go! That's a, that's a quote from Remy Ratatouille. It happens at a point in the movie where essentially. Remy and Luigi, Remy and Ling, let's call him Luigi. <laughs> Remy and Linguini have uh, parted ways after after an argument, and um, Linguini is now the spoiler for Ratatouille. By the way, Linguini is the owner and uh, primary operator of Gusto. <laughs> I was waiting for. I was gonna do that bit until someone in chat reacted to because i did this exact bit last night i went through that entire fucking scene leading up to explain where i got the quote let's go 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 from so I, I i'm gonna stop it now that i i possibly the best fucking reaction was the first one coming from ordon village in chat who said in all caps this again <laughs> oh <laughs> Um, no, I'm not going to do that whole bit again. Um. Let's see. How many Manic Pixie Dream Girls am I going to get? I'm flattered. I'm I'm so happy to know that I'm not like other girls. <laughs> Dobby. 
chat has given Penny a sub. <laughs> Penny is free. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> oh man Olaf from Frozen okay he's kind of silly Olaf is kind of like the manic pixie dream girl of Frozen can I say that am I allowed to say that um Penny, another Penny from Dr. Horrible Singalong Vlog. I've only seen that like once. Miguel from Coco, okay. And Mama Coco from Coco, wow. Who knew that they were so similar? I'm gonna stop at about like, maybe like 75 maybe. <laughs> Rex from Toy Story. It's happening! Yeah! That's Wallace Sean. Barry Allen from The Flash. Not a not a big Flash fan. I'm also Winston from New Girl. Oh shit! Oh, this is oh, this will probably get claimed. It's Anamanaguchi. Oh, but I fucking love that song. This is, oh my God, this compilation is really low quality. I'm switching. <sighs> yeah, there we go. Belle from Beauty and the Beast. She was kind of the manic pixie dream girl of Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> That's not true. Not exactly. Oh, fuck, I'm Phoebe. Uh, whoa. Tylee. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. It's everything I wanted. <laughs> this is, you know what? This is a very satisfying and validating quiz that I've done here. <laughs> Can I just say? Of course, you know, I guess, I guess it is less and less like accurate as it goes down, but still 80%, not bad. Did I get Pinkie Pie? Wait, what the fuck? Hell yeah, fuck! We're done. <laughs> Fucking Pog. We're done. What the fuck are we even gonna st stay here for? We did it. Holy shit. Pog, 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 pog. Fucking poggers. Chat. You don't understand. I fucking knew it. From the day I was born. <laughs> No, I have fucking identified with Pinkie Pie for like the entire time that I've been familiar with this show. Mostly out of a sense of idealism of who I would like to be. But if I'm like there, if it's saying I'm like 80% there, hell yeah. Oh, I got Linguini. <laughs> Oh shit, I got Remy and Linguini over 80%. <laughs> There's this tiny, little, very little. I have a rare. I have a rare. A tiny chef that tells me what to do. <laughs> I love that movie. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> That's like. It's my second favorite. <laughs> you have a rush. <laughs> you want to know why I'm so? <laughs> you know why I'm so good without training? Well, I'm gonna tell you. There's too many characters here.
I am Marty McFly. Back to the future. Okay, this is this is about where I start to be like, okay, this is like like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go pog mode over a lot of these uh, past 80%. I think. Um, hell yeah, I'm satisfied with this. Oh, we still got quite a few of these. I'm I'm not ready to stop. You wanna keep going? Yeah, 80% genie. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Uh, no, not tier time just yet. I still have a few personality quizzes to do. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have time for tier lists after I'm done with these, because there are still quite a few of these I want to do. Um, I was thinking of doing the Enneagram. I had a couple people ask me for this one. Um, I think this is also gonna be one that I save, similar to the, uh, d, &D character. I'll, I'm gonna close out of a couple of these. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna- I'm gonna go ahead and do, a, another, like, short one. That's like making music from Grand Theft Auto 4. Hold on. Oh my god. I wish I could just play the Last of Us soundtrack. I'm gonna move the... Is this... Hold on. I just saw the thumbnail for Super Mario Odyssey in this compilation. I'm gonna skip there. And if it's Jump Up Superstar, I'm closing the video. It's not! Wow! What a pleasant fucking surprise. I'll start it from the top then. Okay, um, so I'm not gonna do this just yet. I'm gonna do what kind of clown am I? <laughs> uh, do you like to make people laugh? Please don't laugh at me. Um, I love to make people laugh, absolutely. I'm twisted fucking psychopath. I just saw that. I'm um, introverted. I feel like ambivert is such a cop out answer. Like, come on, get real. <laughs> <laughs> Which of these color palettes do you like the best? Okay, look. I know I'm gonna pick this, and a lot of people are just gonna, you know, go into the whole like, ah, oh, it's cause gay rights. But like, I genuinely just think this looks nice. The John, the junk, baby. <laughs> I thought this was a scary clown trope in horror movies. Oh, Chase would appreciate this. Um, I like scary clowns. Less scary clowns, more. Ha! Huh. Hold on. Hello, can I help you? Hi, Chase. Hey, Penny. I'm, uh, I'm doing a what kind of clown am I personality quiz on stream right now. <laughs> and um, I, uh, I wanted to, because I came across a question, I thought you'd appreciate it, but some of the, um, some, of the uh, some of the questions have me thinking like, is this tasteful, you know? Like, is mm -hmm. this tasteful towards clowns? And I wanted to get your opinion on some of these responses and whether or not some of these responses are like acceptable. Okay. Primarily, I got to question four of 14, and it says, thoughts on the scary clown trope in horror movies. And uh, first mm -hmm. response is, I like scary clowns, which I know you, you tend to not align with. Um, the next one is really where I wanted to ask your input. Less scary clowns, more sexy clowns. Uh, the uprising of sexy clowns in the past year has been a direct result of people being unwilling to accept clowns at face value. When people draw sexy clowns instead of scary clowns, they're saying, I want this to be more palatable based on my own right. preconceived notions of what is okay for character design. Mm -hmm. I don't see why there can't just be more clown designs. They right. don't have to be sexy clowns. They should just be clowns. Right. Okay. The third option is it doesn't affect me either way, which I think is a really fucking like kind of like bullshit centrist. answer. Yeah, it's it's bullshit and centrist. If you're going to a like if you're 
on a what kind of clown am I personality quiz, you better fucking come with answers, right? Like, you can't just, like... I have a fucking opinion on clowns. I know. Like, what are you doing at that point? It doesn't affect me either way. Then fucking leave. Like, if you're not Mm -hmm. in, if you're not in, you're out. Um, Yeah. I don't enjoy it because I'm afraid of clowns. I don't enjoy it because it's mean to clowns. I really feel like that's kind of... I like that one. Yeah. (laughs) I like that one. Oh, are... It relies too heavily on outdated stereotypes. I don't see why that has to be mutually exclusive with the other options. Anyway. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I won't keep it. I just wanted to get your opinion on the tastefulness of, uh, of the, the existence of sexy clowns or the preference thereof. I'm actually technically in a lecture right now. I'm learning about <laughs> Johannes Gutenberg. So I got to get back to that. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, love right. you, Chase. Thanks for chiming in. Bye, Penny. Bye. All right, glad to get an expert's opinion. I God, I love him so much. He's so fucking hilarious. Um, don't enjoy it because mean the clouds. I think I'm actually. I think I actually align more than more with this one. I think it's just uncreative at this point. You know, just like get in your stick, huh? Huh? Pick a white boy. <laughs> I guess Oscar Isaac isn't white. Pick a guy. Dev Patel is not white either, it seems. Pick a fucking guy, though. Just pick a guy. Fucking... <laughs> I, people are really into Pedro Pascal right now, I guess. What the fuck does this have to do <laughs> with anything? <laughs> this fucking whiplash. What the hell? Hey, Von Trousel. Pick an actor that they can under us right now. Answers, please choose one. You can pick Dev, but tell or Jay, Jalen Hall, Oscar, Isaac, or Robert Pattinson. Or Keanu Reeves, Joaquin Phoenix, or Pedro Pascal. Pick your favorite one. What's your love language? <laughs> I only have hate language. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I fucking li- You know what? Fuck this generic ass video game music compilation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the good shit. Here we go. Pick a famous clown character. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. I hate that this fucking got a laugh out of me. I mean, yeah. Harley Quinn. Girl boss. Pick a clown themed Mits- Mitsuki lyric. Cox gun? Oh my god. Whoa. This quiz is so TikTok. <laughs> you're ugly, you're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you, give me $200. I like this one. Yeah. Okay, now actually pick a Mitsuki lyric. I don't. Oh my god. I could not be less interested. If I could, I'd be your little spoon. <laughs> I would like to be a spoon. Today, I will wear my white button down. <laughs> I better ace that interview. These sound like tweet drafts. Like, every, every first line of these stanzas are like someone's unposted tweet drafts. I want to see the whole world. Today I wore my white button down. 
I am a forest fire. I better ace that interview. If I could, I'd be your little spoon. Glory, glory, glory to the night. Happy came to visit me. He bought cookies on the way. Oh, there's a skip option. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. I just don't fucking care. <laughs> like a balloon animal. Oh, cute. Oh, whoa. Edgy. Okay. I'm gonna skip to... Enemy approaching. Oh, this might give me a weird experience, though, because I'm gonna think people are donating to me at certain bits. Oh, well. Yo, if someone could time a donation directly with this song, that'd be impressive. I'm not asking people to do it because, it, 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 like, this one triggers at the $50 donation, and I'm not gonna ask people to give me $50. Yeah, there it is. Take a texture. Ooh, I do. I like silk. That shit's nice. I do. I genuinely like the smell of gasoline. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm one of those people that like. I'm one of those people. That's all I'll say. I don't seek it out. It's not the worst smell. Um. Rose coconut coffee. Oh. Yahoo! Hey. Hi there. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Hello? Is the fucking... Is the voice gonna come in? Thank you, Quizzler cl Clown. Let me try and... Resend that. They've been fucking silenced. Penny, listen. There we go. It's me. I didn't think it was gonna get this far in my series of doors patent pending. I am so fucking sorry for any clown related incidents. <laughs> I don't know how they got there. They just showed up one day. It wasn't me. Sign the Quizzler Clown. Thank you so much, Quizzler Clown. It's all good. Everybody makes mistakes. Pick a carnival food. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that got, got me. Churros, pretzel, corn dog. Uh, between churros and corn dog for me. I don't have churros very often. So, like, in my mind, I pick corn dog because I have more pleasant, more frequent pleasant experiences with corn dogs. Last question Clowns, are they sick? No. No, but with love. Rodeo Clown. What is that from? Oh shit, that's from the fucking Spectacular Spider-Man. It was like, I would, with that accent, I was starting to think Rodeo Clown. Rodeo Clown started as a way of protecting people from a rampaging bull if the rider was knocked off quick and your feet reliable and charming. Sure. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. Um, okay, yeah. Chill. Pretty, pretty chill. Um, okay. I feel like I gotta do this one. It's a little on brand for me. I gotta do what Sonic the Hedgehog character, mostly. I feel like this is gonna be one of those things where, like, I'm if I want a specific character, I'm gonna be able to, like, answer specifically for that character. But I'm gonna try really, really hard to, like, answer honestly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really try. You're in a city and you need to get somewhere far away. How do you get there? Oh my god, why are there so many options? Walk be maybe because you walk everywhere. Why do you ask? Travel, no, I'm staying here. Any way that keeps me on the ground. 
Steal a car and drive there. Don't care. Just get there as fast as possible. That's Sonic. That's the Sonic answer. Call a taxi. That's, if I want Sonic, I'm picking that answer. Call a taxi. Whatever gets me there. Go to an airport and fly there. Bid my own vehicle, then go. Ask a friend for a ride. You are in a city and you need to get somewhere far away. How do you get there? Steal a car. Go to an airport and fly there. Is this other place also in the city? Because that doesn't seem very practical to me. Seems like you're kind of diminishing returns at that point. How far away? Yeah, like, you gotta really... S if airport is an option, you gotta specify far away. Build my own vehicle. Don't I own a car? Ask a friend for a ride. Like, I... I'll probably like call it call a Uber or something. Which, like, a taxi kind of counts as. I don't know. If, if my... No, if my friends are around, I... Assuming my friends are there, I will ask a friend. Otherwise, if I have literally no other options, I'll call like an Uber, but it's not my first choice. Favorite color, pink. That's the Amy answer. It's your favorite thing to do in your spare time. Watching my favorite movie, read a book, building, inventing things, anything on a computer, any type of contest. Take a walk in the park, playing video games, just relaxing, just relaxing, anything athletic. I think I guess me peace of mind, anything that makes me rich. You can, oh my god, these are so typecasted. What is my favorite thing to do in my spare time? Pro yeah, video games. I fucking love video games. What do you want most out of these choices? Be honest. What? Oh. Oh. Fuck. Okay, I thought about that. For a second, I thought they meant like... What do you want most out of this quiz? Like, out of the choices I'm giving you in the quiz? Like, like, what do you want to get out of this quiz, right? And I was like, fucking political power? Um, no, but they mean, like, out of the concepts here, which one generally do you want the most? Um. How would you usually be described? Fighter, fun, honest, tough, loyal, quiet, shy, cool, smart, funny, friendly, determined. Usually, probably funny? That's what I hear the most nowadays, just like as a performer. What bothers you the most? Someone being sad with no list to you, stu stupid or stubborn people, admitting you're wrong, anything that interrupts your goals, violence, and annoying family. <laughs> what bothers me the most? Yeah, I think violence bothers me a little bit more than an annoying family member. Hurting innocent people. Okay. Now that, that I can get behind. This is the, the yeah, this is where, I, yeah. That shit pisses me off. Uh, what kind of music do you like the best? Anything, no, you can't just like fucking, you gotta make people commit. Alternative. What's the over under on violence versus hurting innocent people? Well, like, I generally, like, I don't, I'm not a, a violence isn't my style, you know? But, like, also, um, hold on. Chase, I, Chase got Jester on the What Kind of Clown Are You? Quiz, so I'm telling him I got Rodeo Clown. Um, I'm not a- I- violence isn't my style. Um, I cannot personally speak to the validity of, like, violence as a last resort in, like, all scenarios, because I think it's a very nuanced thing. Situation to situation, there are some cases where, like, you know, sometimes shit can happen. I think- I think, though, the- the idea of, like, like, violence in and of itself is a very overarching, like, vague concept. And personally, I'm not a fan of violence, like, as that term, but, like, um, I think, like, the idea of hurting innocent people is a more specific thing that, like, actively upsets- like, there's no- there's no case- like, there is some case, like, if someone is violent in a case, I'm like, it's not my style, but, like, I can maybe, like, understand someone's position or whatever. But, like, 
if someone is hurting an innocent person, I like, there's no fucking way you can ever like spin that story as like, like good or justified to me, you know? Um, that's the way I, I justify it at least. If you could go on vacation, where would you go? <laughs> it's a different kind of vibe of a question. Camping in the woods of Mountain Ski Lodge, the Bahamas, Florida, the Grand Canyon. I don't know, wait. No, I'm... Well, I guess I would have to go to Florida to like go to fucking like Disney World. God, I want to go to like Disney World so bad. I'm fucking... Like, like I mentioned earlier, I've been going on a defunct land binge and it has me all into like fucking... Oh, I miss theme parks so bad. Um, I wouldn't go to Florida for any other reason though. Um, I don't know. Not camping, not a sports stadium, not Australia, not necessarily the Bahamas, mountain ski lodge. Not real, I'm not a big ski or mountain person. Nice five star hotel on the beach. Um. Not for the hotel. If the hotel is nice while I'm going somewhere else, then like, sure. Grand Canyon, sure. At some point, probably, I'd like to go just to see it, but it's not a big priority. Anywhere with a pool and a spa, I disagree. There is a pool at my apartment complex, not a spa, but I can fucking go swimming at any point. Somewhere in the Far East Asia. Yeah, sure. I feel like this needs to be more specific, though. It's just somewhere. Yeah, that's a very broad concept. Ugh, I don't know. There's a lot of theme parks in Florida. I'm sorry, I hate the fact that I just fucking picked Florida, but there's a lot of theme parks in Florida and I'm in a very big theme park mood. If I, if right now I could go on vacation somewhere, it'd be fucking Disney World, so. I hate it, but it's true. Like, if you gave me a choice right now, like right the second, you're like, you get a free trip anywhere. Like, Disney World, Disney World, Disney World. You save anything from a fire. Blow to be. My favorite childhood toy, my cell phone or other electronic, my car or other vehicle, my expensive car, all of these things getting taken down by the same fire. Fuck. My favorite outfit. No. Okay, some of these are just fucking ridiculous. Like, outfit, whatever. Shoes, fucking whatever. Jewelry, whatever. Wallet, all my money is digital. Whatever. I get a new ID. Whatever. A jacket? A random large diamond. Supplies for a club or, or my pets. Oh, pff, what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? Pets! The fucking living creatures I love and take care of. Or a jacket. That just fucking made me mad. That just- Yeah, the music shift is perfect. That just pissed me off. That's cl fucking clownery. To the highest degree. That has to be a joke one. What a, what, a, what a dumb fucking teenager quiz. I think it's a very good description here. Someone's treating a close friend meanly. What would be a reaction? Oh, yeah. Randomly sh- Yeah, oh my god, a teenager wrote this. Oh my god, someone like 13 years old wrote this. It's a Sonic the Hedgehog character. Of course. What am I thinking? I literally- I forgot this was a Sonic the Hedgehog quiz. Oh my god, I literally forgot this was a Sonic quiz. We're gonna get a- we're gonna get a very accurate answer here, because I completely forgot what I was answering for. So I'm just treating a close friend meanly would be a reaction. Just swiftly knock the abuser out. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Nothing personal, kid. No, it would. I don't. I don't see why shouting at them would have to be random. If someone was being an asshole to my friend, I think shouting at them is a very real response. I has <laughs> randomly shout at them. You use magic. What kind would you control? Darkness. Psychokinesis. Mind control. Ice, fire, earth, water, darkness, wind, weather, nature, electricity. Uh, I don't know. I mean... This one's the most practical, but it's also the most unethical. <laughs> oh no. Fuck, nature. Who would have fucking guessed? It is so clearly, like, a 13-year-old wrote this quiz. And of course, like, if you're if you're a girl and you take this quiz, you're probably gonna get Amy. <laughs> that's like the that's like the way it works. <laughs> I think, you know. I did it. Got Blaze. Very, you know. That's a fucking. That's a really good. That's a good pick. Um Okay. There's still more there's still more I want to do. I want it I I don't know how many of these remaining ones I'm going to do, but I really want to do this one. Cuz I think this has been a recurring subject on my streams. Oh my god, I need that song to be longer. Oh my god, I need that song to be a million times longer. Where 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 where, 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 where? No, no, I fucking went to the timestamp. Oh my god. I literally tried to go click on the timestamp and the fucking page stopped responding and wouldn't let me click on it. They literally didn't want me to listen to it. Okay. Um, okay, so this has been, this has been a recurring theme and a, a recurring subject matter on my streams. And we're gonna fucking get to the- I- I- we're, we're gonna get to the bottom of this once and for all. I do have a psychiatry appointment coming up soon. But, um, you know what? After this, I might just cancel it. Because, uh, we're gonna find out right now if I have ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> the ADHD spectrum test. <laughs> this is the most science, yeah. I find myself avoiding tasks and responsibilities that I do not immediately see how I could tackle. Agree. Yeah, absolutely. Difficulty staying focused for long periods of time. Agree. As a child, my parents or teachers were concerned regarding the pace at which I learned to speak. That is a disagree. I was, I, I generally, as far as I know, was always a very good speaker and a very good reader. I like to read a lot as a kid. Uh, when I think a task is too hard or confusing me to handle, I often give up. Uh, it's more of a middle. It really depends. Huh. I jumped from one act. I didn't even read that one. It was so... Uh, I have to jump from one activity. Yeah, agree. Fail to pay attention to details. Slightly agree? Uh, I really don't know, actually. That's more of a middle. I don't, I'm not sure of that one. Thoughts and feelings often get in the way of my being successful at school or work. <sighs> don't forget the hyphen between spider mm. and man. Since you're into theme parks, have you ever heard of Evermore? It's like an interactive fantasy theme park designed by former Disney Imaginers with a ton of very passionate actors. Ooh. I work there and it's freaking dope. I have not heard of this. Evermore. You 
work there, you say? Evermore Park, home. Whoa. Not to advertise on stream. The fuck? Whoa. Oh, this is cool. A kettle cafe. Yo, this kind of rules. <laughs> this is, oh, this is kind of fucking sick. Hold on, wait. Is there like a, is there like a gallery? I'd love to see like pictures of the place. It's pretty cool. I'll look into it more. Um, as a child, I tended to get overly excited to become overly passive from exposure to bright lights, loud sounds, or other stimuli. Um, I don't remember a lot, but you know what? For the longest time, for the for the longest time, literally as recently as like a like a year or two ago, I I and I I believe I still feel this way. I have a problem with ceiling lights. I have a real fucking issue with ceiling lights. They are so overwhelming to me, especially if it is daytime outside. If it's nighttime, I can I can get behind it a little bit. I am a lamp person. You cannot fucking convince me that ceiling lights are necessary. <laughs> you can't. Um, I, I, I used to describe it all the time as whenever a ceiling light was on above me in a room, I would feel like it is yelling at me. That is how I, that's how I used to describe it. Um, I hate ceiling lights so much. I don't know if this is that. I guess exposure to bright lights, loud sounds, or other stimuli. Um, as a child, I tended to get overly or become overly passive from. I I mean, like, as a fucking adult, I I I react a lot to loud sounds and bright lights. Ratchet and Clank has been a real issue for me recently. I think because of this. I'm gonna put this as slightly agree. I don't know how much as a child, but if I have issues with it as an adult still, then maybe I'd have to like ask my mom or something. These are almost everything gets- oh my god. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm not proud of it. Yes. Mm hmm Not all the time, but... Difficulty learning how to button my clothes or tie my- <gasps> What?! Wait! The fucking music. This is me... realizing... What the fuck? Is that a thing? Are shoelaces a fucking thing? Because I, I remember shoelaces were a big problem for me. I, like, didn't understand. What the fuck? Huh. Okay. The, <laughs> the music... Wow, the music is perfect tonight. The music is doing really good for setting the mood tonight. Um... I did eventually learn to tie my shoes. Like, I'm, I'm good on it now, generally. I don't think I'm very good at tying my shoes. I, like, I do it, but I don't think I'm very good at it. Um, but I, I learned at least a little bit. But it was, yeah, it was a problem for me. I had to, I had to wear Velcro shoes, like, all the time. I often lose things like my wallet, keys, phone, important documents, and the, yep, 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 yep. I don't lose my phone. I, like, always have my phone on me. Um... But I, I, I don't, I mean, a lot of this stuff ends up just kind of sitting around for me, so I don't, I don't often, like, lose, lose them as if, like, I need to, like, but, like, they, but, like, I, I think that's generally just because the, the area of my apartment is, like, relatively small compared to where I've lived before, and, like, I've had issues finding these things before pretty often, but, like, in my new space, they generally kind of stay on, like, countertops and stuff, and, Generally pretty visible, but not all the- not all the time. I lose things a lot, so. When I was a kid, I often ran about in situations where-, where yep. It's hard for me to cope with my own errors and or challenge that are challenges that are unfamiliar to me. Slightly agree. I sometimes blurt out things in conversations without really knowing what I said or why. 
Hmm. Slightly disagree? Slightly dis Others have- Oh. I tell myself that I talk excessively. Others have told me that I talk excessively. I think I've relatively been around polite enough people that, like, I don't get it. I, but I guess something at some point must have instilled in me that I'm like a, a verbose person because I, I tell myself that all the time. So it must have come from somewhere. Slightly agree for that one because of that uncertainty. Others have been surprised or shocked because of my unpredictable actions. Uh, I'm going to keep this one down the middle. I don't really fully understand the context of that. I tend to become overly excited. Mm, that's another down the middle. I can get excited. I I think in recent years, I'm, I'm more of a mellow person, generally. At least in terms of like my actual like outward expression. Internally, I get very excited about things, um, but... People often expect me to know or understand things that seem strange or nonsensical to me. Oh. Feel frustrated and or misunderstood. Yes. It's a long time for me to calm down after experiencing intense emotions. Yes. My mind often wanders to... Oh. I am frequently unable to sit still. Yes. Wasn't that already kind of a thing? Oh, well. There it is again. As a child, I had difficulty with activities that involved bodily coordination skills. Um... Like what? That's another down the middle. I'd, I'd need a little bit more content. As a child, it's hard for me to perform balance-based activities such as gymnastics. Like sports? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. It is challenging for me to consistently stay on top of my obligations and or pay my bills on time. Um. <laughs> Bills, no, because I have auto pay activated for every single one of my bills. So <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I don't have to worry about it, but obligations in general, <laughs> yeah, I tend to, I tend to have issues. So yeah, no, no, strongly agree, strongly agree. Cause literally auto pay specifically is the only reason why any of my bills get like remembered except for like rent. I worry about rent all the time, but like, if I if I didn't have auto pay on like my electricity bill, I would probably forget about it like all the time. I often forget to run errands and do. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Others have told me that I tend to butt into conversation to Again, not many people have told me this. I just down the middle. I'm too uncertain about that one. Even crucial appointments tend to. Oh no! Literally earlier tonight. Oh god. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I do not often follow through when someone tells me to do something. <laughs> no, wait. No, wait. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Um. Well, if it's a task, I like. I do my best to. I don't know about often following through. I'm, that one's just down the middle. I'm. I don't. I don't get this one. It's difficult for me to have to wait for my turn. Over what? Eh. It's a little bit of a... It's a little bit of a disagree. I, I can manage that. I easily become verbally or physically aggressive when I'm angry. No. I don't. <laughs> nope. Well. Look at this shit. <laughs> Your ADHD symptoms are high. This is obviously, this is not an official diagnosis resource, but you know, this is, this is nothing I didn't already know. I just thought it'd be fun. I learned about the fucking shoelaces thing. I didn't know that was like something that was a factor. This is stuff you would tell the doctor. Yeah, no, fair. Forgetfulness and hyperactivity. I don't, I don't, hmm. I've never considered myself particularly hyper, well, I guess, I guess I don't really consider myself particularly hyperactive as an adult. 
That could just be me, though. Like, not really, like, seeing myself externally. But, no, forgetfulness, inattention, impulsivity, for sure. I've diagnosed ADHD, and this test is actually pretty close to tests I've taken in professional environments. Well, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Again, I mean, like, I wouldn't be actively seeking out psychiatry for this specific thing if I didn't already suspect that this is a thing. I just thought it'd be a nice little complimentary thing to do. Um... I took an autism quiz that had a question about are you mesmerized by candles or fire and I had a shoelaces moment. Oh man. Yeah, no, that was that was fucking wild for me. I literally like I I read the shoelaces thing. I mean, this is like a couple minutes ago. I don't know why I'm talking about this like it was last week. <laughs> but like um yeah, that was crazy. Okay. You know what? I think um I think I am going to do one more for tonight. Um, I'm not going to do a longer one. I think I'm, I think I'm officially kind of like ready to wrap up here. One more. It's one I'm very excited to do. It's one from Clickhole. Uh, which one of my garbage sons are you? <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not seen this before. But I'm into it. Um, I've got some shit boys. My huge, beautiful wife gave me the children who think and speak like the toilet. I have four garbage sons. The first son is named... I'm gonna skip the ghost songs. I'm sorry. I know they're beloved by the fan base, but they're not good to casually listen to. Um... Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first son is named Royce. The second son is named Preston. The third son is named Lance and Blake. Two names for just one son. And the fourth son is the dreaded Laramie. Which one of my toxic sons are you? Take this quiz to find out. Which these garbage things have you done? Spray paint the word Isis on the side of your nice dad's... Oh my god. So the United States Air Force had to come and blow up the beautiful car, which is a sap. Open the, up the trunk of your nice dad's wonderful sab and shouted the word fuck into it so many times that the resale value of the car went down by half. Oh no, is this quiz like edgy? I saw Isis and Osama Bin Laden in the same quiz question. I don't know if I want to do this now. I don't know if it's too edgy. It's funny, but I don't know if it's too edgy for stream. That's not really the vibe I'm looking for. Hold on. Let's see if there's another one. Yeah, it's click hole. Yeah, the fuck the fuck one is hilarious. That's no, it's like it's funny. I just don't know if I want to stream it. Let's see. What does Long Furby think of me? The D&D one is long. I would love to do the D&D the one, but it's, it's too long. I'm right. I'm like, I'm like in wrap up mode right now. So what is long for me thinking of me? How many teeth you got? <laughs> Enough more than I need. Please feel free to take some. I have many bones. I have some in my mouth as well as many in my closet stash. You want some 3,864 or 46. Wait, do you mean my teeth? These are the same answer. I do have many bones. Huh. Huh. Oh shit, who's she? Tearing up the dance floor, who's she? I'd get her name at the cotillion. Madam. Spine? Yeah, I have one. Take it. Linda Spine Computer, would you like my vertebrae? Take one. Take it. Humans? Mm-hmm. Where do you hail from? Uncanny Valley, my home. My rib cage. I like my home. The Dome of Gay is pretty good, but I like my home. What are you? <laughs> it's fucking stupid. I don't know. 
Even after all this, I don't know. What does Long Furby think of you? You win. Quarter you yap is Okay, well. I won. Well, hey, at least I at least I won at the at the last at the last quiz. That's a good that's a good closer, I think. Oh man, wow. I I sincerely did not realize I was going to take so long for each individual quiz. Quiz. Like I said, I had like 16 of them prepared on backlog and I just um we didn't even get to all of them. So we could feasibly do this again at some point. I think that'd be fun. I also want to do another Taylor stream at some point soon. <laughs> My results were you lost all your fingernails. Oh no. That's no good. Um, okay. Uh all right, I'm gonna wrap up here, everybody. Between spider and man. Hey Penny. Recently got paid some big funny money, so here's some of it. Thanks so much for all of the laughs so far, Tilda. Thank you. That is so, so generous. Enjoy your funny money. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm going to wrap up here and call it for tonight. Uh, let's, uh, let's set up a raid. Uh, what, are we, what are we thinking in terms of raid phrase? You win is a, is a, is, is a good one. It's a... <laughs> Soulless. Oh man. Woman pants. Yeah, I think I think you win is good energy. Yeah, just like a very I'm just gonna paste just like a bunch of very pleasant you wins. And then you can yeah, copy one of the very pleasant you wins. And we'll uh, and and paste it in the yeah, don't don't paste here. 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 Paste it in the channel that we go to whenever we raid. No paste here. Um. Uh, who do I want to raid? Who do I want to raid? Ryan's currently playing Metopia. Uh, y'all interested in seeing some Metopia? Let's raid Ryan. Raid. Chungo show. All right, I'm gonna set this up. Cool. All right, uh, I had an absolute blast tonight. Hey everybody, thanks so much for dropping by. Uh, like I said, I'd love to do more of these um, at some point. Um, I don't know how frequent streams are gonna be for the next week or so, because uh, again, I I think I mentioned earlier, I, I I mean, I spent like the last week or so just being so heavily involved in getting dub stuff done and also catching up with like stream stuff as well. So like, um, I'm going at it a lot. Uh, but if I stream tomorrow, it will likely be more ratchet and clank a crack in time. So, uh, if you're interested in seeing more of that, uh, feel free to come on by. Otherwise, um, I'm gonna try and do some more, st uh, fun stuff pretty soon, but, um, I already activated the raid, so we should get out of here pretty soon here. Uh, so, I'll do my regular outro stuff. Hey guys, as I always say, uh, please be good to yourselves. Please be good to others as well. Do something nice for yourself. If you haven't in a while, have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is where you are. I'll see you real soon with some more fun times. Um, yeah, thanks so much for joining the stream tonight. If this is your first stream, I hope you'll consider coming back in the future and turning on notifications so you know when they're happening. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just hope, hope you all have a great one. Uh, you deserve it and all that good stuff. I'll see y'all real soon. Let's go say hi to Ryan, everybody. Goodbye.